Are you ready to battle? Alright guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to uh, today's tournament. So today is going to be a tournament on Hideout. I actually thought it was a different map. I thought it was the one where everyone starts in like a circle and is really close together. But this is the one where you have your back to the wood. So, gonna be pretty crazy. Yeah, it should be fun. So we're in round one right now. We're gonna get probably killed 3v1 by two French players in Delhi. And then I'll cast the Grand Finals, which will be great. Yeah, that's it. How you guys doing? Welcome. All right, start when ready. Start when ready. Good luck, have fun. Thank you, guys, and welcome to the stream. Um, let me go ahead and get this. Post this. Get everything all set Good up luck. here. Have fun. One moment. And there we go. So we need to go here. Looks like the game's going to be luck. firing up. Have fun. Good luck, have fun being spammed by everyone. Good luck. Have fun. Oh, my God, the monotone of that voice. It haunts me. All right, let's do it. We only have a four-player pod, though. I thought that we were going to have five. So certainly uh, less people to hunt us. So we got Allied Trex on Delhi, Nanny Yori on French, myself on uh, Holy Roman Empire, and uh, another French player. So rough. Two French French is definitely a good counter against HRE. Um, Arbalists basically counter your whole roster with their melee armor and anti-heavy. So you have to switch up your play style pretty heavily. Yeah, it's going to be tricky, Patty. I think they're going to they're gonna work against me, which is totally smart. I, I, I agree with that. I think they should. Um, anytime you're in an FFA lobby, if someone's like a potential has the potential to be a tyrant, you should try and take him out if you can. But we'll see. Sounds like Gabe Newell. It kind of does, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. So you know what the plan is here. We're gonna try and get relics. That's basically it. We are gonna play feudal a little bit though. We're not gonna go like super greed. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Perfect way to wind down. Yeah, this map is pretty crazy too. This one is uh has the potential for people to lumberjack through the forest into the other bases, which is really, really funny. I wasn't going to go Malians. Uh, Malians, I think, I've been playing them a ton in 1v1. I actually think they're very strong. I finally kind of figured out how to play them, you know, the unit compositions, all that kind of stuff. It's been a really good time, man. Terminator T800, good luck. Have fun. Yes. The perfect way to wind down after a crazy work week. Yeah, man, I agree. Age is always a, always a really fun one. I've been having a blast with this game. Hey, it's Professor Pone. He says, no, don't do it. <laughs> Pone, I want to have that be like a GIF when people like, uh, like I don't know, click the like button or something, it pops up. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be pretty funny to have that. All right, guys, let's go get let's go get uh, run over by mass French knights. That's the one thing that French is like decent for uh, new players is that you can basically. Um, oh my god, my hands are still so cold. You can uh, you can just spam one unit. <laughs> <laughs> the entire game, right? So we're gonna go for this early deer camp because why the why the heck not, right? Seems like uh, it's just right there. Seems pretty good to me. We'll go gather some sheep and then we don't need to worry. Only four people though, huh? Yeah, that's that's kind of interesting. So let's get you. I don't think, unfortunately, we have like a good Aachen position. Uh, uh actually, you know what? Yeah, we do. We have. A, oh man, Roost would have been. This is this is the Roost map where you're pretty much guaranteed to get like a million bounty. Oh, we could have gone Roost on this map as well. That would have been pretty awesome. All right, so you're going here and here. We got the deer camp, and we can just drop the sheep off here as well. And so this will be kind of our Aachen position, and uh, we do that too. All right, so we found one relic, and we do have a sacred site in our corner, which is nice, because there's only two sacred sites, so um, two of the players won't have them. So mm, it, it it doesn't hurt, you know, it doesn't hurt. So based. I am weak. Please don't kill me. I love it. They're they're using my voice line, the the sheep Palpatine. So judging from um some of the chat we had in the pregame lobby, I think they might be teaming up against me. I'm not sure. So I I have to play very defensively. I have to play very defensively and make it not worth their time. You know, or they want to maybe go do a little something something else. All right. So the deer camp's going. Let's go here. Let's go here. <laughs> Turn is to the north. You are to the east. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. 
All right, so we have plenty on gold. We need to get the prelate over here, so we're just gonna do like an Aachen right here. See, Allied Trex is, he's gonna be the true Palpatine in this game, because he's probably the next highest ranked player, so if he can get everyone to team on me, he pretty much guarantees himself a win. <laughs> Which is pretty hilarious. All right, let's get on the wood. Uh, I think I gotta bring the sheep back. The sheep gotta return. Yeah, we're, 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 we're gonna be in some danger, 100%. Okay, let's move you here. Sheep are on their way. And, uh, all right. So, yeah, we can start working on the straggler trees, trying to get a little bit of wood. I'm thinking Aachen will go right here. We'll eventually have to delete that house. Unfortunately, it's not the best positioning. <laughs> We're Pope Palpatine. I only see one relic so far. Yeah, it's actually pretty bare bones in the relic game, so I'm going to have to discover some of that, that action. All right, so we got a lot of gold. Our food's almost there. We'll be aging up in just a moment. We can pull some gold workers. Let's do this and go for the Aachen Chapel, which we can do like so. That's a pretty good spot. That is a pretty darn good spot. All right, sheep are dropped off. Let's go explore this part of the realm, see what's going on, and come on, guys, turn in that food. I don't want idle villagers. All right, come on, guys. Come on, there you go. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, give us enough food. We shouldn't idle villagers. Oh, yet again. All right, so we're gonna go for the Aachen here, obviously. And let's pull some of these guys, do this, and we can pull you and do this. I wonder if we're going to get rushed by, like, French knights. That would be some weird shit. Like, in an FFA, to rushing an FFA basically, um... <laughs> the true schemer is attacked. <laughs> Look at that. I think it was an accident. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he meant to do that. I was looking away. <laughs> okay, well, looks like the, uh, the Grand Alliance against me might be fracturing already. Guys, I only see one relic. This is making me very nervous. Your scout attacking mine? Oh, you're getting, getting, you can't get butt hurt over that. That's nothing. That's just, that's just like literally his town center attacking you there. Oh, look. <laughs> I have the high ground. All right. Naniori might not be on the uh, Unholy Alliance. We'll have to see. It seems like there's a little infighting already. Okay. Can we find a second relic? Goodness. Okay. So we got at least two relics here. That's kind of all we need. Um, in the meantime, let's go down here. Nope, there's a sheep. There's a sheep there. So you guys switch on over to that. Fire tuck to this, and let's grab you guys and do this. What's really cool about Aachen is it serves as a resource drop off. So you get to get the goodies there. We're definitely gonna get a stable. Yes, so you can have them. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Yeah. He's like, he's trying to turn him against me so he can just get all the relics. That's that's smart, smart. Do we want to go wheelbarrow? Is there any sense in that? I don't think so. It's like, is that an early barracks from the French? Okay, there's some weird shit going on here for sure. And it looks like uh, pretty standard. Gonna be going for the deer camp there. And feudal age is in. Let's get the wheelbarrow and then that should uh, turbo accelerate us to the castle age. That's kind of the game plan. We might need to get... School of Cavalry might warrant. Let's go see what everyone else is doing. School of Cavalry might warrant um, us to get some like early barracks. As much as I don't want to, I'd rather go stable. We might, considering we're potentially going to be getting attacked by double French, I think uh, I think this is going to be prudent. All right, do this. Allied getting the stone for two TC. He's gonna use you guys to attack me while. He, uh, while well, he booms. Oh, look at that. I've exposed the, uh, the tactics here. Let's see. <laughs> Go look. <laughs> check his, check his stone. I see it right now, dude. Look at that. He's trying to manipulate the two French players into attacking me. He's trying to manipulate the two French. I love it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's the French and a Delhi. The French are definitely the big threats. I mean, Delhi, Delhi can be a really big scare in like Castle Age, but um, yeah, it's 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 a little something something. All right, so we got a barracks. Let's make a couple spearmen just to be safe. I know it's not fun, but it's not fun. But somebody's got to do it. You guys, uh, let's go to the berry bushes up here, and uh, looks like the school of cavalry is up. So we definitely want a couple spearmen. We definitely want a couple. Oh, you got it. The, a little politics in the beginning. I normally don't politic unless I'm politicked against, which uh, is clearly clearly going down. Hey, we're doing great, Gunhound. Life's good, man. Can't complain. 
All right, so let's get you. Oh my god, I thought that was I thought that was a French knight already. I was like, oh my god, are they here already? <laughs> They've heard the clarion call. All right, so we got Spearman here. Spearman chilling out. So we're pretty defensible now. If somebody wanted to attack us, it would definitely be setting him back. All right, he is attacking. <laughs> All right, so it looks like there's a wall coming up. Okay, so people are being greedier than I expected. People are definitely being greedier than I expected. Okay, so this is going down. Only two relics here. If I can get two, I'm going to be very happy. All right, so let's get you guys to go chill by this relic. And we'll make a couple more spearmen. So you're going to go here, buddy. And you're going to go here. If we can get like two relics, I'll call it a win. Because the other ones are going to be very heavily guarded and stuff. That's going to be a tricky one. All right. So very close to the next age. We'll get the Regnitz Cathedral, obviously. Just need a couple more food turn-ins. And uh, we need to make another fire truck right now. And uh, we can make one more spearman. We'll just have them, like, camping the relics. And where the heck is... Does Green not have any, like, relics over here? It's kind of an interesting one. All right, so let's uh, let's just be extra safe, and we can do our own like Great Wall as well. It's only 120 wood, and we can do the same thing over here. I think. Why not? Right? It's just like it, it seems like the smart play. HRE going fast castle. Big news at 11. <laughs> All right, so let's grab you guys. Let's go for the Regnitz Cathedral. Uh, we can get you guys going down here too. Yeah. And I think we have a second fire truck out now. We do. Okay. So these positions are going. I don't see any. Oh! Green's trading. Look at that, dude. Green's getting hog wild on the trade. One, two, three, four. All right. So we can start on some early farms because why the heck not? Let's be a little bit greedy here. And uh, we can go ahead and get some knights as well. And we need to also get the fire tucks heading over to the relics. And we're the sad part is we're only going to get two. There's only going to be two relics. I mean, I could potentially try and get Blue's relic, but that's not going to be easy. I am weak. Okay, there's one Please down here. I'm, I might have a chance of getting that. There's like a slim chance. Okay, we need to get more on wood. No harassing though is good so far. It's been calm. I mean, nobody wants to set themselves behind, right? Because whoever harasses heavily is usually going to be very behind in FFA. It, it can be worth it if you really, really want to take someone out, but in my experience, it usually just doesn't work out. Okay, let's go send a Spearman. Delhi's going to be taken sacred, which is great, because it makes them look like a villain. Oh, look at this! The double French knight harass, man. Who would have thought? Alright, so I I was I spoke too soon, soon about the, the harass here, huh? Alright, let's get you guys up. I'll send you back here. Pull the spears back, and then we need to grab the relic. And grab the relic. I must admit, I'm a little bit surprised. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. So now what we're going to do is just set up our big farm economy. Let's get you here, you here. And a couple spears running around. We'll have the spears uh, protect these guys if they can. Maybe he's bringing his knights on. I'm not sure. He might be. I'm going to be too late. Ah, it would seem there's some funny business afoot. So if he if he commits to that, the Wololo will get him. Yeah, see. Okay, let's run this way. And then you guys can drop this off. Okay. We got our knights as well, which is good. It looks like this side is... Uh, let's get a gatehouse here. And the relics have been dropped off, which is great. All right, so yeah, the French knight came. He, he came to party a little bit, but thankfully it didn't do too much. All right, let's just keep setting up the farms. We have to play very defensive. And I could have sworn I had a great wall set up. Okay, his knights are actually trapped in here now, which is pretty funny. All right, so we got the double relic. I need to go try and get one down here now. Okay, it looks like his scout is around there. We'll pull you back to the base. Get a farm going. And yeah, the knights are trying to get back to their home now. All right, so we'll get you guys running up. Let's do this. And now it's time for the Holy Roman machine to get going. Okay, very good. And let's get you over here. 
here and here. And we're gonna go attack these knights. Although, are the spearmen upgraded yet? Did I get them? Oh man, they're still they're still potato age spearmen. That's actually not good. Okay. Uh, man, my mouse is freaking out. Uh oh. Good, not not the best timing. All right, one knight down. And now we need to do this. We also need to bounce our economy out. All right, so you just chase this guy. Let's get some houses. One, two. And uh, let's just continue getting barracks, basically. I think just spamming men at arms is always a good call. All right, so we got a mace man. These guys will burn through the gatehouse eventually. This guy's going full, like, Mission Impossible straight up to try and get this relic. If I could get three, that's that's definitely the sweet spot. That's definitely, that's nice. All right, so we're going to get the ranged armor because that's just the smart when you're playing HRE. Just keep getting the farm economy going, and he's about to break through, but nothing we shouldn't be able to handle. Oh, oh man, okay. Is my fire truck going to make it? I wonder. He's going to about to burn this down so we can come in and, uh, <laughs> and get those guys. It's going to be pretty funny. All right. So a couple French knights going to pay the troll toll here. Okay. So they're dead. People are reaching castle age. We do have someone trading down in the south, so he's going to be very strong as well. Uh, unfortunately, Friar Chuck's probably going to die. Yeah, looks like he's not going to make it. He tried his best, guys. He made it far. <laughs> he, <laughs> he also built a villager. Watch out. <laughs> Allied's giving like a play-by-play. -play. He's like, all right, guys, he just built a farm. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's just keep this up. And uh, can I get more farms around here? Probably. Okay. So this guy's going to come back here. And now we have some troops chilling over in the south. Okay, interesting. So let's grab you guys. Let's do this. Allied is Castle Age, which means Dumbos are probably on the way. I probably should build some good quality walls over here. I think that might not be a bad idea. We'll keep you there for now. And uh, do I have any Friar Tucks? Yeah, not at the moment. All right, let's grab a Friar Tuck and send him up here. We're probably going to need to get some like ranged units also. All right, let's do that. Take these men at arms. Head over here. And uh, did that worker? Oh, he was going to go up here. That's right, finish this. Probably want to grab some stone as well and get a marketplace going, which we don't have, so let's set that up. Let's get marching drills. Yeah, all's calm for now. All's definitely calm for now. We just need to get a big, big entrenched economy and just kind of cackle. We'll just go imp as a matter of fact. I think that's going to be fine. Nope, we don't need rally, I don't think. We just the ranged armor is going to be good. And our little buddy there will do his thing. So yeah, only two relics. This map spawn was pretty tight. It was pretty tight overall. Definitely didn't give us a lot of, uh, a lot of ways to get the relics. All right, let's do this. And uh, yep, we have a pretty decent little farm economy. Aachen farms are, are pretty sweet. All right, let's get you. Pull you back to stone. And now we just save up for imp. That's basically it. And grab this as well. And uh, I will I will put my goodies in the corner, I think. I mean, I definitely can produce a lot of units now. We're going to get stone. Because considering they might want to go after me, I'm going um, to I'm gonna be building keeps on my base. Like, defensive keeps. I'll probably build my last landmark up in the corner, too, and, like, wall it there. So I'm a little bit harder to finish off. I think that would be smart. I don't have stone walls on my borders. I will eventually. Uh, that's why I'm gathering this, so I can kind of stonewall my empire up. And very, very close. All right, so let's grab you guys and you guys. Go up here. And we can build the Elsback or the Swabia up in the corner here. You have to do everything you can to make it a little bit more difficult to take you out, you know? Every little morsel of effort you can do is uh, certainly going to pay dues. All right, let's get some houses. We got the Mace Man. We could get an Elephant Legion, but the thing is he's surrounded by those guys. So unless they really, really, like, work together and just... Like, like, oh, yes, brother, may I pass your lands? Like, oh my god, our chihuahua is going bananas out there. I hear it just barking all angrily. All right, let's get you. Let's get you. Can you guys hear the dread chihuahua? Hear it howling in the night. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some stone. We can start in the Great Wall here. 
And, uh, oh man, I really don't have that much stone, jeez. I guess it's gonna take a while to build that wall anyways. All right, so we definitely wanna build this up here. Um, we could just produce villagers to go after the gold nodes, whatever. Oh my God, it's so hard to focus with the Chihuahua barking. It's just screeching. Usually it's the mailman, yeah. Okay, so somebody could also be lumberjacking through here. I think it would be a little bit early for that. For those type of shenanigans, I think it would be. Okay, so you guys doing a good job with the stone walls. Let's just keep it going. Swabia will give us a pretty pop and eco, to say the least. So those guys can come back down here afterwards. And uh, yes, now we're getting crossbows, men at arms. Just a classic army comp. We'll mix some uh, land snakes in as well. All right, lumber upgrades, please. So one side is going to be pretty resilient against push. Okay, the trawl is loose. It's, run it's getting tired of barking. Let's get the mace upgrades. This is a really calm FFA though. Normally there's like some wild shenanigans going. You guys ready? Queuing one, two, three until he starts saying, look, he's Imperial. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I know it. All right. Gotta look out for our own man. Okay, let's do that. We have plenty of gold at the moment. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shut up. All right, so who do we go after first? Um, probably the side that doesn't have the raw, the, the side that doesn't have the, um, what's it called? The, uh, the, the stone wall. Because they've already invested in the stone wall here, which is going to give me some good buffering against them. <laughs> Look, Natty, Natty, you already calling him out. He's like, are you doing anything? I love it. I love it. He's keeping it real. All right, let's delete this, take this out. Let's do that. And looking good. So now we can go this way. Granted, he has stone walls set up and it looks like this side doesn't. We'll have to see. All right, so let's go set up our little army this way, maybe. We can build our stone walls on the other side. Let's grab you guys. Yeah, we should stonewall every border we have. It'd be silly not to. Okay, we definitely want to get the gold node. Can I like fit it here somehow? It doesn't look like it. All right, so we'll start on the wall there and uh, let's go ahead and get army tactics. Army tactics is a really important upgrade for HRE. We don't have like crazy infinite gold, but we definitely have decent gold. All right, team, let's head through here. Get that uni going. Let's go get some upgrades. Let's go see what they're up to now. We have to we have to knock a little bit and say hello. Okay, he's got stone walls. Obviously. <laughs> oh, oh lord, he coming. I love it. Okay, and okay. So we don't have siege equipment yet. He has stone walls, so we need to pump our brakes a little bit. Just poking, just saying hello, man. Just saying hello. You're good. Okay, the Aachen farm economy should be popping. Doesn't look like they're all being worked. Okay, they are. Yeah, I just need to build that little house there. And then we need to get some uh, some infrastructure in our base. Let's get the riveted chainmail, get the spearmen going, and army tactics. We should be able to get that right away. Army tactics is like one of my favorite timing pushes because it's a huge power spike for your army. All right, so we got that. You guys can just clean out these berry bushes to make a little bit of room. Although, honestly, we probably need more woodworking. Oh man, this is actually getting a little shady here. Let's build a tower there. Maybe it'll give us a little bit of vision. Yeah, our eco's doing good. Swabia keeps doing its thing. We're just gonna absolutely punish this gold. And uh, yeah, man, you gotta love that. You gotta love that Aachen farm. Farm eco, it's so good. Okay, a couple of horsemen coming through. I'm thinking of like maybe building a stone wall tower here. That could be okay. Yeah, let's do that. That'll, that'll kind of... Say hello there. Okay, Allied has got an Imperial, but he's playing Delhi, so it's not like his Imperial is like super scary. And for you, we'll just save up for a Bombard Cannon. So we can knock down stone walls. Finish building all this. And uh, looks like, am I getting attacked? What is this, like some expeditionary force? Some weird shit. Okay, so let's get the houses. Should cap us off there. And uh, yeah, and we'll get someone to build that and we, we'll just kind of squash this force real quick and Maybe we push through this way. I'm not I don't know who's the bigger threat. Honestly. I really don't know Okay, those houses should be building. Okay. They are just albeit very slowly All right, so I've just been supply blocked for like five minutes Okay, let's just chase down this army here 
Our eco's at 91. Okay, so we've chased back that army. I need more war wagons, it's true. It's true, I do need more war wagons. All right, so let's pull back. And uh, you guys keep lumberjacking here. We'll pull away. I don't want to attack him. I don't feel like I need to go there. Okay, so we got the final food upgrade, which is going to be awesome. Not that much stone in our lands, though. Not that much. We're going to get one keep in our main base. Like, like I'm talking, we're going to like lumberjack through here and build it like right in our main base. Because somebody, I feel like somebody's going to lumberjack through to us at some point in this game. So we need to take advantage of this and, and eliminate one of our enemies. And try, we're going we're gonna to give it a good old college try. So we need more infrastructure. So let's grab a couple of you guys, do this. Set up archer ranges. I'm a big infantry player. Like I love infantry play, more so than Cav. Might not be the, the best, most sound strategy in the world, but you know, I think it works most of the time. Okay, so our men at arms are not even elite yet. Wow, that's really bronze Odia. So maybe we'll wait for the men at arms uh, lead upgrade. Although we can just start bombarding down the walls. Okay, so we got the tower here, which will give us a little bit of vision of what's going on in the realm. Do that and go here. Like, potentially we just steamroll this and then... All right, so yeah, we need to just get men at arms, hand cannoneers, and it looks like that's all done. So we're going to be lumberjacking through here. Got to be very cognizant of that. Okay, boys. One more shot, we should be through. All right. The Holy Roman Steamroller cometh for you. Sigmar, bless this ravaged body. All right, let's go see what's going on in the base, shall we? <laughs> like Nana Yori says, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> just no, no, like, like, just, like shimmer of hope. Just like, yeah, I'm dead. All right, so we're going to just go for the kill. Because if Nana Yori is being really greedy and hasn't been building a military, then I'm just going to straight out go for the throat. You know? Because I'm much more, if they team up on me after that, at least it's only two people and it's not three. Because he's only age, age what? Yeah, okay. So, oh, he was doing greed trading, yeah. All right, let's get you guys here. Let's get you guys here. T turns all inning me. I would not call this an all in, but um, yes, I understand. I understand where you're coming from. This is just like a, like an imperial age timing, basically. Okay, now we just need to find his last landmark, and he's dead. And uh, the Holy Roman steamroller will commence. Increases the health of buildings. Let's get that. Oh, hello. What the hell's going on back here? Is this where your last landmark is? Oh, that's just, that's where your economy is. Oh, no. Oh, no. The humanity. Oh, there's no escape. All right. So, um, yeah, I just need to find the last landmark now, which is probably hidden in the corner somewhere. Then we just build up a fat, crazy eco, and we just live our best life and just keep, uh, keep building this infrastructure up. Okay, there's some funny business going on over here. We're gonna build a keep here. Ally, I didn't, <laughs> Ally, I didn't wall you in. If you want to be a hero, he says. Oh my God, that's funny. Look, Ally was trying to rally the alliance, and then in their hour of need, when they're actually in danger, he's nowhere to be seen. Yeah, he's coming to steal relics. <laughs> he's coming to steal relics, guys. I don't think he was gonna help. Oh, that's so funny. All right, so we got uh, we got our, our keep here. Obviously, just got to find the last landmark. And uh, all right, you guys attack. I think we're pretty secure here. Uh, you guys can head on right here and then grab this. Okay. Oh, maybe he's coming. Okay. He probably just wants the relics. Although honestly, we should squash this army. We have like just a pure Holy Roman like doom stack here. Okay, so this is very important. We see a relic here. So we need to come down here and get that. Yeah, okay. Where is his last landmark? It's probably in the corner. All right, nice try. Ah, oh, the red palace in the corner. Okay, nice. It's going to make it hard. I think we should be okay here. We got two relics there, actually, so let's get the Regnant's Cathedral and pop another one. If we can get these other two relics, that's going to be super sweet. 
All right, so let's send a couple guys to go look for the goodies here. We'll take out this gold uh, deposit, and uh, we'll just keep dudes coming. What the hell is this? Oh my god, I am being attacked. He's got a lot, actually. He's he, he was being very greedy, I think. All right, let's get you guys here. You guys do this. We need to guard these relics. We can't let anybody have those. Okay, so let's go down to stone. And then we can stop building workers. Okay. Come on, Friar Chuck. Oh, we're actually being sieged here. Oh, he's got trebuchets. Interesting. Okay. How come this is not within influence of the TC, though, for the Holy Roman repairs? That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, we basically have uh, have karate chopped here. It's going to be hard to finish, though. Yeah, we got more troops coming to the main base, so we're just going to steamroll that. I will exact my relic tithe, and then I will leave, and, and just uh, just like I appeared. All right, so we don't have enough for culverins. It's going to be hard to actually finish him, like I said. So we're just going to kill all this infrastructure and try and do as much damage as we can. Okay, let's see this. Let's keep steamrolling the main base. Because we might have to go back and deal with this eventually. I don't know if I can, like, squeak through there, can I? No, I can't. Okay. Can't quite get through there. All right, guys. So, seems to be going good. He's pulling back now. I don't mind just chasing the workers through the red keep. I need to discover where his last line mark is anyway, so we're going to send these brave scouts to go figure it out. Okay, 25 workers. Let's get you guys on the lumber over here. I need to stop making horsemen. What the hell did an Wait, did that elephant just pop out? Where did that thing come from? Okay. Looks like the alliance really fell apart, huh? All right, so where are those relics at? We'll get one of them in the keep here, which is going to make it much harder to kill. And, uh, yeah, our eco is pretty popping. So let's get you guys one and two. Set up some more farms. That's what we're going to need. In the meantime, we're, we're just going to steamroll through blue stuff and kind of play it safe there. All right, so, yeah, we need to get a farm eco going. Okay. Looks good. We can pull some more workers. Do this. And then we go after Green because he's sieging us, basically. Alright, so it looks like the steamrolling has commenced. I, you know what? Honestly, I think we're just going to do a blitz on the Red Keep. Yeah, we're almost, we're almost through there, which is pretty funny. You might be able to torch this down. We'll have to see. Alright, team. Let's head out over here. Get the other bombard cannon moving. Pull this one back. <laughs> I need to, like, literally put this in the core. Okay, there we go. Alright, so, yeah. Relics. Did we get it in the keep? We did. For some godforsaken reason, though. No emergency repairs here, which is kind of annoying. Alright, let's grab this. GG, Naniori. Well played. Alright, so let's get you guys heading this way. And uh, increase health of siege engines, sure. Oh, look, Delhi. Delhi trying to defend his homie. Oh, no, he's actually raiding him, it looks like. Okay. It kind of looks more like an aggressive act there than it did one of peace. All right. We'll get the relics in there. I have no lumber. Yeah. It's going to be tough to rebuild, my friend. Get some guns. And you guys can go ahead and set up some more farms here. Looks nice. And then we want to get Regnets, and we want to get the uh, religious characters to... Uh, we can actually drop you off in Regnets. So now we got four relics, which is pretty money. Okay. Looking good. Maybe I can build, like, a Culverin and get over there and, like, siege his siege or something. Oh, man. I don't know if I would be able to shoot through the trees there. It's hard to say. Okay, we got reinforcements coming here. Spears, and uh, we should honestly, we should make horsemen. It's kind of potato not to. God, I really need to kill that though. If I can. I just don't have any gold at the moment. Gold is pretty sparse. I mean, we have this node here, but outside of that, it's basically just our infinite gold, right? All right, let's gather up the team. Do this, this. And uh, we can go ahead and sell some resources here, get our culverin, put it over there. 
And hopefully that can salvage our keep. Which for some reason I don't know why it's not within influence of the uh, of the TC. I guess the farms don't count. Okay, let's see if that'll connect the dots there. All right. So let's grab, yeah, we got the food workers, we have prelates, and I'm putting the prelates like amongst the farms. So I just have like crazy food eco. And then um, from there, we have our stone walls. Okay, we need to pull back. We need to pull back, we need to repair this. Okay, let's get back to our base. We're being attacked on the other side. Hopefully we can keep this keep alive. Repair it, repair it, come on. The Holy Roman keeps going like a champ. Rock turret is too powerful. Yeah, all right. So we're, we're retreating. We're going to be harried off here. I think Blue is basically dead, though. I don't know how strong Delhi is. Delhi probably has a couple relics. Is it in repair range? Oh, yes, I got the emergency repairs now. That's pretty big. I don't know what, what is nice. His knights are, like, straight up chasing me all the way here. All right. So, yeah, now maybe we move in and just try and kill him. I legit think Blue is... Oh, my God, please tell me that's sealed. And uh, you can come down here and do this. Okay, so he's getting into the farms a little bit. So we'll get some more workers, and I'm your worker. And do that. Maybe he's trying to do a bit of a run by, I'm not sure. Well, nonetheless, we'll we'll kill this army. Yeah, I think we have to go finish blue. I mean, I've learned my lesson of when people leave me alive, so we need to we need to return the favor here. We also need to get tithe barns. So Tithe Barns, Inspired Villager, Gather Raid, Military um, Inspiration. Okay. So we've held off this attack. Yeah, I have emergency repairs now. I didn't have them before because I didn't have the Spear of Influence. Yeah, I don't know where Blue's other landmark is, actually. All right, let's go here, see if he's trying to rebuild anything. And how are we looking? Yeah, he still has some crossbows and stuff. Okay, emergency repair time. Did we ever get that culverin coming down? Can we lumberjack through here? We could probably lumberjack through here. So let's lumberjack our way through. Our Chad Knights are doing great work. So we're going to just lumberjack through and then the steamroller is going to come for him. So we're going to get stables now. Um, just because it's a, they're pretty cost effective to spam against artillery in the late game. Okay, so let's just keep a couple troops in the neighborhood. Emergency repairs going down. Tithe barns are coming up. Hmm. Come on. Come on, guys. Do we not have forestry? You should be able to lumberjack through there faster. Can you delete your keep so I don't lose the landmarks? <laughs> oh, is it the red keep or something? Can we get through? Can the Duhas get in the base? Oh, baby, you're in trouble now. You're in trouble now. The old do host is coming. All right, so let's get you guys. Siege workshops. Yep, yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes. That feels good. So now we just go for the go for the. <laughs> Look, he says, "Oh no, he's in." <laughs> oh no, he's in. I love it. It's so funny. All right. Yeah. So he mostly has horsemen. I don't think his eco is as good as ours. Um, so that's good. We're gonna need to watch out for like any cheese here. So I'm gonna build another keep here. Like so. And it looks like we've steamrolled most of that army. And we can get you guys popping out there. This guy's fighting tooth and nail with his arbalist here. Really going hard. All right, yeah, so green's basically toast, I think. Probably be me versus Delhi. He could have like, whoa, what the hell is this? This is gatehouse. Okay, that's weird. Did you guys see that? He got like a couple units through. It was very weird. Okay. All right, so we just go for the kill here, just landmark hunt basically, and uh, you guys can come down here. Yeah, there's literally like no gold left, so. Okay, so let's get you guys going over here. How many bills are we at? We're at 133, so our military is actually very crappy and small. So we need to uh, fix that. All right, let's keep looking. We have a couple troops here. Should be able to push you guys out. And uh, siege workshops as well. And it looks like there's another landmark down here, Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. Okay, so keep torching those buildings. 
Uh, we do have nice static defenses as well. I guess we could torch these houses, why not? If we can limit his supply, looks like he's trying to run by, but we do have the Holy Roman Keep with the, uh, with the Relic in it, which is awesome. Keep a couple guys there, too. Oh, yeah, he's trying to trying to get back in the corner here. So Nandiori not giving up. I, you know what? I would imagine Allied is probably going for a wonder. That, that's what I would imagine. Because he's, like, buffered against me, so... Although, he does have some knights here, I guess. I don't know. Hard to say. All right. Yeah, I got some farms here. It's not going to be easy to finish off the old French. All right, so let's get you to just camp these, uh, these, these, and yeah, we need to kill all these houses. Yeah, Trex is probably tunneling through. That's what I've been suspecting the entire game, but we're we're prepared for it. We have like keeps everywhere, and really, really are entrenching our base. Okay, looking good. Let's head down here. Ali Trex still has some haggard horsemen here, chilling. All right, so on our way. He's saying the wall is glitched and he can't delete it. What you probably need to do is um, not, like, if enemy units are near things, you usually can't, like, delete them, right? Yeah, like, so that's that's probably what's going down here. I've only seen, like, two of his landmarks? Yeah, so we destroyed one. He really spread his landmarks out, like, super hard. All right, so... One down. Blue is basically dead, but could come back with some sort of weird shenanigans. You never know. I have to find the other landmarks. And then we have to do a glorious battle with Delhi. So I'm just going to start selling resources. We have a lot of relics too, which is great. Destroyed Rock's landmark. Let's do a little bit of scouting here and see what's going on. A Delhi wonder would be tough. While your red palace in is killed. Oh, okay. So you're saying they're trying to work together, but it seems like there's uh, they're having problems, which is which is a good sign. All right, so we'll just get you guys chilling here in the meantime. And uh, yeah, 121 eco is pretty good. We're about to lumberjack through here. Army tactics, we want to get gunpowder um, and biology. Yeah, we definitely want those. Where the heck is his? Where the heck are his landmarks at? Oh wow! Oh wow! Look at that! Holy shit! Okay, Allied is getting some colossal trade, so I need to probably try and kill him somehow. But granted, I could also do a little bit of funny business myself. So let's do this. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, we need to just try and take him out. Yeah. Okay. So this army needs to go kill all that trade, because otherwise I could lose 100%. So we got a couple bills here, let's just chase. And then this army needs to come over here, join up with the crew, and head on over into Blue's Realm. I don't have to finish green right now, I definitely don't. Okay. Can't really do much about this, just kind of pulling back. He's got his keeps there. I honestly... Don't want to spend too much time landmark hunting. How many bills does he have left? That's probably his entire economy, honestly. All right, so we need to go and, and do something about that trade. Otherwise, we might just we'll straight up lose to his eco. That's like way too much trade. All right, let's delete this shit wall. It's not helping, that's for sure. All right, let's get some guns in there. You, you did indeed push me from your lands, brother. You did. Alright, so let's get this. Get you guys. Uh-huh. So let's just, like, like fully secure this area. Okay, perfect. So moving through, we're going to go shut down this trade, because that, that can't be allowed to happen. Is he really attacking me? Oh, shit, he's coming in for it. Look at that. He's going for the kill, man. Yeah, our keeps and static defenses should be enough to fend him off, I think. We'll have to see. But the trade, the trade's got to go. That's hands down the worst thing. All right, so we're moving across. I think our static defenses can hold. Hard to say. Yeah, some big casualties. We do have mace men chasing him. And let's get you guys do this, do this. And we need to like fully wall this off if we can. Did he just like straight up stop trading? Like when I said it on stream, <laughs> just like that timing. 
He might have. Shit. Okay. A little bit of cute rating going down here. He's head up here. Go get these knights and these knights. Perfect. I don't know what he's doing. It's weird. Okay. Is there like a little bush in here? And then you need to come this way. There we go. All right, so yeah, we should be able to shut him down here. And then we'll wall that off, so he'll have to build siege equipment. Yeah, it looks like he's straight up just not trading anymore. Okay. He had like this massive wave of trade, and then it just like stopped. Ah, oh, here's one landmark, okay. So it's just this and the Red Palace. Okay, so let's just farm these units. We should be fully walled off here now. Cool. We know where the Red Palace is. We know where the last landmark is. And let's get you guys coming down here. So it looks like he was attacking. Looks like maybe he was getting ready for a little bit of action there. Huh, interesting. Good thing we have that uh, infinite gold of sorts. Alright, so let's, uh, let's attack into Allied's lands. Even if it's, you know, a bit of a failure, I think it's still worth. We definitely need more infrastructure, though. We don't have as much as I would like. All right, looking cool. I could just try and kill Blue. I mean, as long as we're denying trade, that's that's a big thing, right? So let's pull you bills down here, here, and here. And wall off this side of the map so Allied can't, like, get there. Green destroyer wall. <laughs> I, I think they might be trading together. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right, so let's move in here. Okay. Looking good. We're gonna want some more barracks too. So we could just like re macro like a doom stack like instantly basically. Yeah, we need to kill red though, 100%. He needs to pay the troll toll. Or excuse me, blue. We'll get our villas coming down to deny trade on this side. Looks like Ally Trex is attacking blue somehow? Interesting. I'm really happy we built all these like keeps around our base, jeez. Yeah, look, a little bit of little bit of drama between the alliance, huh? Unstable, to say the least. All right, so we have all these guys. Let's do that. Let's bring them down here. Destroyed Naniori's landmark, yes. So you guys set up a keep here. That will deny like trade in that part of the map. And then he'll have to trade through Green's land. Green still has like a functional army, so unless they really are teaming, which is fine. I, I totally understand that. Um, not a bad thing, you know. If you're if you if there's someone who's very strong, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna need to. They're gonna have to be working really really closely together. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have any siege equipment. You see Delhi scholars coming. I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Okay. So not gonna be any trade for these guys. And let's get you up here on these farms. And we can head down, we can head south and start attacking the uh, Delhi, I think. Green could backstab us at any time, but like we did do some good eco damage to him, so I think I think we're chilling. We'll keep some reserve troops here. Oh, hello. Alright, let's finish this keep. Alright, looks like the keep is gonna be finished. We have some wild farms up here, so let's torch those. And outstanding. This will free up some supply for this, the much needed siege equipment that we've been we've been looking for this entire game. He does have a gold node there. Okay, so we got the siege, we got the uh, the keep up, which is what we wanted. All right, let's set up a wall here. He can come down here if he wants. Yes, blast them, blast them, keep. All right, so the arbalists are getting popped now by the keep, which is outstanding. And uh, we'll set up a little wall. And the reinforcements are on the way. Good, good. I can assure you, my cutting through is not like a strategy. I know you guys shouldn't be listening to the stream. <laughs> but uh, it's not a strategy. Okay, it looks like Delhi's coming here. With, uh, with a little standing army. Thank goodness we have four relics. And we're playing Holy Romans, man. Okay, so he, he does have his Arbalists. Arbalists are basically a, like a, a single-handed counter against the Holy Romans. He got a lot of money from that trade. That's for sure. 
And, uh, ooh, we might need some proper siege equipment here. We might lose this fight. It's not a huge deal, though. We can we can replenish pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to need some elite horsemen, too. Let's pull him back to the keep. And uh, get ready and get the culverin to go. And the culverin can just snipe these. Yeah, we still have to contend with green. All right, so one is down. Let's get the other spring alt. Our supply lines are pretty far away. It's going to take us a minute to to get going here. All right, so let's grab you guys. Uh, yeah, you guys are chilling. Looks like their army mostly has been dispatched. The land snake can hunt down those villagers. I think he's trying to rebuild his landmarks. Oh no, villagers. What is our villager count? 118. That's pretty good. Oh, that land snake though. He's 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 chopping away, man. And uh, I need to get elite archers, so let's do that. Because we're going to have to start spamming like crappier units. Alright, prepare the culverin. Looking good. Land snake's on the way in. How are we looking here? Oh no, what is this pathing? Dear god. So, that is not good. Okay, so we need to do this, this, and this for the pathing. That was some awful pathing. Oh my god, the horsemen are running through the enemy base. Well, at least we know there's an opening there now. Alright. So, is there any way we could wall this? I don't think so. We probably want to get some siege here. Some trebs. I really need to finish off blue, though. 100%. What the hell is he bomb bombarding me with? Oh, he's got a cannon over there. Okay. Look at that, man. Alright, let's get that cannon. Alright, looking good. This area is a little bit dicey. Alright, let's attack. Looks like we salvaged the keep. Wearing down the numbers. He doesn't have a lot of room for reinforcements, that's for sure. Okay, he's trying to run his villagers past. We managed to salvage the keep, which is good. I need to get some trade going. Like, that's that's why I'm focusing blues, because he's got a, a lot of opportunity for trade here. Hmm, man. Is that, is that siege equipment almost ready? Alright, so one, two, three, four. Take all these out. And the keep is up. It looks like he's trying to destroy the walls. The Delhi Sultanate. Alright, so let's just bring down the walls here if we can. Hopefully they're, they're not still pathing through this area. Villagers constructing faster. I bet you Allied is going for a wonder. That would be my, that would be my guess. Some random horsemen getting karate chopped here. Alright. Let's move in. Take these guys down. Once we finish off these archers, we should be able to move through and get the kill. Delhi's coming in. Okay, interesting. You have to pull back and uh, fend off the Delhi Sultanate. Ain't no problem. Sigmar provides his uh, his loyal followers with power. Hey, no, thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for the donation. And I feel awake today. I'm feeling good, man. All right, let's. Uh, right as I say that, I just I'm gonna get. Just absolutely hammered by like 15 dudes. All right, counterweight trap. Let's get it over here. And then here, here, here. Okay, we killed the Delhi army again. How many how many times must we teach you this lesson, old man? Okay, he might be trading on the other side. He very well could be. Uh, let's go make sure he didn't rebuild this. And let's go make sure he didn't rebuild his landmarks here. Because we need to actually kill him. The time of games is over. All right, let's just finish these walls. Do that. You guys are coming out. Did he actually... Okay, it looks like the trebuchet is getting the job done. Not yet. No? Okay. Give me those walls. Man, Annie, you're already scrapping. I have the high ground. You do. You do. But I have, I have the dark side, dude. I'm Sheev Palpatine. I'm the OG haggard villain. Well, at least we're not going to run out of wood. That's nice. Don't try it. Okay, we need to we need to just straight up get in there and just just put an end to this tyranny once and for all. It's not going to be easy though. The Red Keep is like one of the most disgusting landmarks in terms of DPS. <laughs> We're just going to rush the Red Keep, man. We got no choices. All right, so let's do this. Let's get you guys going in. Come on, guys, finish that off. And it looks like oh my god, if he rebuilt the guild hall, I'm going to be so annoyed. <laughs> Come on. Finish it. Almost. Looks like he's got some villagers coming in trying to repair, maybe? 
Come on, finish it! No! Shoot the, shoot the keep! Oh my god. Okay, Delhi was moving in, but thankfully we have finished the job. Okay, so now we just need to stabilize and get like a good eco going to sustain, you know, big battles and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so let's cut you and let's cut you. Let's get our battle group and go move down there and see what's going on here. Ah, they killed my keep. I wasn't watching. Nah. That's really annoying, actually. He must have several, several pieces of, uh... What the hell is this? Oh my god, those villagers were... We're torching. Allied trying to do a little bit of a cheeky ride by there. And, uh, looks like Deli is... <laughs> Deli's just, like, randomly sieging this one base. Okay. Thankfully, I have some, like, troops in my base. So we can deal with that. We're about to mine through here. And let's repair that. All right. So that's down, that's down. And you guys can come here. We're gonna have to get that going. We really just don't have a lot of gold. Green's gonna be a tough cookie to crack. He's just spamming keeps using guild hall. So he's, um, he's very, very durable at the moment. Let's make some trebs. Gotta go deal with this deli threat, I guess. Obviously, this keep was, was pretty much destined to fall here. And uh, I would like more stone if I could get it, but yeah, there's not much on the map. There's not much on the map, my friends. Okay, they're just getting sent to their doom. Yeah, we need to kill all these keeps, man. That's a lot. We did some damage to him earlier, but not enough. Alright, so a couple of horsemen, a couple of spearmen. Maybe his eco's hurting, I'm not sure. I am not sure. Okay, we'll start on that. Let's go chase this. He's gonna try and save some of his siege equipment. Like, I feel like we could hold with food and his basic resources for now. Okay. Looking good. Let's head south. Let's go see what we can discover here. And how are we looking here? Yeah, we need a we need a better uh, a better option there. More direct route. All right, Ally, let's go see what you're up to, man. The thing is, Green could actually go for a wonder because he's playing French, so he could uh, for sure use the Guild Hall to get stone. Oh, it's gonna get complicated, man. I know if I if I kill manage to kill Allied, I could um, I could take his sacred. All right, so let's get you over here. So one keep is down. Can we shoot the other ones? Just attack ground here? Is that going to be enough? Maybe. Maybe so. So I would wager Allied has pretty good defenses here. De As you've seen, Delhi armies aren't that scary. We have a couple mace men. They can guard this. There's no way to get sight there on that thing. I don't think there's... There's probably not any way in his base here. Let's go see if there is. Sometimes people lumberjack through and then they don't pay attention. And we're gonna be able to, you know, find our find our cookie jar. Oh, just like that. Perfect. Just like that, my friends. So what now? There, there's three of us? Yes, there are three of us. Um, do I have any prelates laying around that could come grab some relics? Well, anyways, we'll torch these down to try and hurt his economy. Still four. All right, let's move out of the radius. I probably could have just killed that character, but... Is he attacking me with vills? What the hell is this, bro? These are villagers. Oh, man, okay. Yeah, he's going to win this fight, but... We're going to do some damage for sure. Plus, we'll, uh, we'll reroute our army. Okay. So now we can start sieging this proper. Holy Roman Army is no joke, though, man. It, like, it, it's a, it, it thumps. It does some work. Okay, let's go get that going. Still fighting, actually. Wow. Very happy with that. All right, let's do you guys. And then do this. And get you guys going. And can we build it, like, anywhere here? Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. So slowly trying to take out Green's business. Got a little bit of an attack there. It was kind of cute. Nothing terribly successful, but it's all right. 
And uh, let's get some archers and some horsemen. And just kind of keep sieging this base down. Yeah, we, we did a little bit of damage to allied. Plus we're securing a little something something on the side here, so. So that's good. It's it's a, it's an arduous journey, but they'll uh, they'll make it. How many bills do we have right now? Definitely a little bit too many. All right, let's cut the numbers. Do this. I think that's enough. I could be wrong. Okay, so let's gather our, gather our Doom Legion. Move up. Hey, Tomoko, thank you. Really appreciate you being a member that long. Sorry, guys, I'm super focused if I'm not looking at chat too much. He has unlimited gold. Uh, so do you. Look at that. Aha, got you there. <laughs> All right, so we got the big uh, the big wall offs coming. Oh, just in time too. Oh my God, we just finished the Great Holy Roman Wall just in time for Delhi to come raid. Look, that's pretty funny. All right, so let's. Uh, can we actually move through the forest here? Is it possible? Is there like a breach? I don't think there is actually. Okay, so we might need to just go this way. We've knocked down most of the keeps on our border here. And just to be safe, we're going to build another one here. So let's head this direction. He's got the Haggard Ramstein coming. So we can actually go repair that because I don't think he has archers. Yeah. Because we really need that trade online. So we probably have to try and fight Allied. Green's probably trading too, honestly. He's probably sitting pretty at the moment. Okay, so let's go down here. We're repairing the walls. The Ramstein's coming. So let's go ahead and cut these guys. Cut these guys. Have you guys head over here. And these Trebs can... Uh, I don't know where, where we go with the Trebs. Maybe they just stay in the base. Let's go see if we could like salvage this situation. We're going to lose some traders for sure, but... I think we're pretty well uh, kind of entrenched here, although this there's a little bit of a an unfortunate opening here. All right, so yeah, we'll kill this army. We're gonna lose a couple traders in the process, but it is what it is. Yeah, we can't, we can't, can't win them all. Uh, maybe the trebuchets come down here. We use them to siege his base afterwards. So here they come. You can't destroy the neutral market, so no problem. We do have green in the back pocket though, which is very scary, like in terms of a wonder. Okay, so let's go here, 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 and here. And then the rest of the guys can come in and destroy this army. Yeah, we should be able to replenish those traders pretty quickly, to be honest. Yeah, and he can he can run around. We're about to get the, the Great Wall here, though. And we take down this army. Cool. All right, team, let's go. Make some basic archers, make some horsemen. Plenty of lumber to be had. Let's get the prelate down here to motivate these guys to chop wood a little bit quicker. Hmm, maybe we lose that fight. I'm not sure. No, I think the mace men get it. It's hard to say. Hmm. Yeah, there's no... It's a neutral market. He can't kill it. Yeah. We're all good, my friends. We're all good. So let's come down here. Rebuild this. Great. So it looks like we've cleared this army out for the most part. Just There's just some scraps left. And uh, do we want to get a bombard here? Nice. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what Green's up to, man. He's been really quiet, which probably means he's just banking and preparing for a wonder. We were joking before the game about him going with the wonder. So I feel like uh, the prophecy might come to come to fruition here. We'll have to see. Thankfully, we're getting some gold. Yeah, there are some relics. If we could steal a couple more relics, that pretty much heals the deal. And I would like to chop through here, but it's very risky. Um, do I have any workers that could do that? Let's actually get a couple of you guys and see if we could just like chop through there. That'd be pretty money. All right, so yeah, he's up on the walls. We should be able to get some troops up there in a second once we get some land snakes there. Though, what are they going after? There they go. All right, so they should charge up on the walls. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Do we need crossbows for any reason? Not really. Traders are on their way back in. We're up on the walls with land snakes. No problem. And the breach should be resealed here in a moment. Should be resealed. Let's see. Uh, Rock is building a wonder. <laughs> nice. Nice. He's building a wonder. Let's get that wonder, I guess. All right. I, we knew it was coming. I'm sure Allied is happy. This is, like, good for him. 
Uh, where is he building it? Okay, back here. So allied, it looks like uh, you know, we were once we were once foes, but now we must be friends. Somehow Palpatine has returned. <laughs> I love it. Just the shitty memes, dude. It's so great. Okay, can we chop these trees down, please? I thought forestry was supposed to make it so they get it in one swing. Yeah, certainly seemed like more than one swing there. All right, guys, we got to wonder. And uh, let's go to the uni. I think I forgot to get that for my basic archers because I wasn't using them earlier. All right, so we just pushed through his main base and hopefully we can defeat him in conflict and open field. And, you know, it shouldn't shouldn't be too hard. This is a big open map. It's not like a map like one of those mega random like joke maps that we play where, you know, people can get crazy entrenched. Oh, look at the textile saving my, my villagers. I love it. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't need that for now. I think we can fit all the all the crew through. Improved forestry is a Mongol tech, is it? Ooh. All right, we got a wonder, man. This is exciting. This is what we. This is what it's all about. So let's get our uh, war machine fully oiled and ready to go. We got a lot of trebuchets, so should be able to see it here in a second. Okay, so let's just start torching his landmarks. In the meantime, the Trebs will do the heavy lifting and avoid the burning oil. I wonder if he was expecting this attack. So that's one landmark down. He's got another here, one here, and I don't know where his last landmark is, actually. All right. Because this will make it just a 1v1 with me and Allied, which I'm more than happy to play, considering I have, like, pretty good eco. This map's pretty cool how, like, y'all, you're all, like, cutting through. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so Allied is here raiding as well. I, not sure what he's running towards me for. Green's got a good army though. Yeah, we're gonna have to trade into it a couple times over because it's big enough that we probably lose the fight. And uh, we do have all this, all these guys here, so we could probably block his his access here through the forest. Okay, let's get you guys going. Seems the fight seems to be going okay. I don't know how many of these he's gonna get. Let's see. We can always rebuild them. Uh, you know, siege isn't isn't too problematic for us. Yeah, so he's got a lot. It's gonna be a heavy war of attrition. I'm very grateful we built these keeps here, man. Because if he tries to dive me, I have a lot of supporting uh, supporting positions. So we're gonna need mangoes too. Obviously, fighting in a choke point, mangoes are super important. And yeah, we just we just start grinding, man, and hope Allied uh, hope Allied is helping too. Use the force, Rock. Yes, he is using the force. I managed to keep the traps. Pretty good position for us. Keep shooting. He's got Rebalquins and shit. He's been banking for a long time, dudes. He's been banking for a long, long time. Come on, keeps. Yes, get close for the burning oil. All right, his numbers are starting to diminish. 100%. And now we just gather a 200 stack. We move in again. And uh, that's that. All right, let's just keep going. We could even make a run for his, um, for his landmark. Or just like, yeah, make a run for it, essentially. I don't know if Allied is helping. I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't, actually. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, let's keep you guys back. Let's go see how entrenched he is down there. Okay, so we got one landmark down. That's his, his other one. You guys, in the meantime, can start pushing into the base. We'll just have a little bit of a dual-pronged push here. Okay, I hear cannons rumbling, so it seems like he's helping. Let's start killing houses and play, like, the long game. Okay, let's go for the TC, do a little bit of a, a flip around here. And grab you guys, go loose formation, and uh, target their Balkans if we can. Uh, allied, are you helping? I don't know if he is. I hope. I would sure hope so. Let's get some riveted chainmail spearmen, which will be very good against the French knights. Yeah, he is, according to you. You guys could be scheming together, for all I know. Oh. All right, so we only have five on. We have way too many on food. It's like random, like, encampment up here. Okay. Like, look at this. What the hell is this? Oh my god, what is this shit? The gatehouse was bugged. They weren't going through it. Oh, that's awful. And why did Ally just run into my base with like 15 like religious characters? 
I don't, I, I don't believe Allied's helping, because if he was, I think I would steamroll through this quicker. Oh my god, they were stuck in the gatehouse. Wow, that's horrible. Okay, we've broken the back of this army. He's for sure not going to be able to sustain now. Alright, so let's just get more stuff, more goodies. Just going to chain sell food. Okay. Yeah, the siege equipment definitely gives you a good critical mass. Yeah, our ballists are just so good against HRE, dude. They're so, so, so good against Holy Romans. Yeah, it looks like the gatehouse is, is, yeah, it's okay. Wow, this is really stupid. Okay, well, that's just what we're going to have to do, which is not, not efficient, but it is how it is. Let's make more siege equipment. Let's keep going. He's def not helping. I don't think he's helping. I don't think he is. He's being a, a cunning trickster. Look at this shit. What is, what is this, bro? Get this out of here. Oh my god. What is that? He has many. I feel like he might have like five dudes in your base. Alright, let's pull you guys up. Do this. And uh, we can also get you guys to just make more of these. Alright, so yeah, he's running out of steam. I think I could be wrong. But we only have nine minutes on the wonder. Allied, why are you riding horsemen into my base? Allied, why ride horses into my base, bro? What is he doing? I mean, they're going to die for sure to the keeps, I hope. Okay, let's see if we can just finish this guy off. Okay, I mean, it's like he's down. Great, outstanding. Yes. So we got the keep set up here. But guys, we're running out of time. Oh, looks like uh, Allied made it there. So now we just need to finish him off. We got a couple uh, couple dudes here. So let's just run down there. I legit think he doesn't have it like entrenched. So we're just going to like run straight past it here. Let's pull these villagers down and build the keep down here to help out. Okay, we can also just start killing his landmarks. Okay, so let's do this. Let's build this here. So that's one, that's two. He probably has his last landmark hidden in there with Notre Dame. Okay, let's take this keep down. I know it's going to burn oil a lot of our dudes, but uh, I don't know. I guess we just head to the last landmark. So one, two. We're getting these keeps set up just to give us like a beachhead upon which to land. We definitely need the siege equipment. Okay, he's going to try and get that, but that's not going to go terribly well. And do we have a siege engineering? I, I better have gotten that upgrade, because we might have to just make like 50 rams here. I never even fully upgraded that. It's pretty funny. Alright, so keeps her up. Let's start just hammering these down. And uh, siege equipment. Yes, please. We need to actually lose a lot of this army for this to work. All right, Vils are farming away. We have, what, seven minutes left? Yeah, seven minutes. Okay, he's not even that entrenched here, so let's just go chill by the keep and make, like, 50 battering rams. I think that's the way we do it. So let's go burning oil this keep, and that'll free up some supplies. And then we can start on the Ramstein. I don't really need forward infrastructure here. It's close enough that I think we're okay. All right, so let's uh, take this down. Trying to. This is your moment. Build your counter wonders. LOL, I know. It's pretty funny. All right, so we need to free up some supply, 100%. So it's you guys here. Let's build forward siege workshops. One, two, three, four. That's the one that probably we need here. All right, so let's get you and uh, great. So we're trying on the wonder. I should be able to get some siege equipment here. And um, I can probably cut a lot of you guys. Free up some supply. And now, we can get some siege equipment. Oh no, Allied, get your get your men-at-arms away from my forward infrastructure. You might be able to hold this. Probably not, but you never know, man. Allied is doing something here. I have no, no idea what he's doing. The wonder is pretty darn close. Okay, so men-at-arms are just random horses 
Man, I don't know how Green saved this much money, but he sure did. He sure did. All right, 200 supplies. So we're going to get a big military here now. Okay, keep clearing, keep clearing. The uh, tanks should do the job. Yeah, we got all the siege equipment coming in now, so this is where we make our push. We got five minutes left. Okay, let's move it. Let's groove it. Let's start taking down these buildings. It looks like Allied's still pushing from this direction, so we are helping in that way. Come on, team. And do we delete bills here, too? Yeah, I guess we could. Whatever. Oh my god, the slowest siege equipment in the history of siege equipment. Alright. So, yeah, we got a lot here now. Let's move down. Just gather everyone up. Come on, bombards. Yeah, and we're going to be able to produce a bunch out this way, too. Like, honestly, with trade, trade's enough. Okay, let's get over here. I could build some siege, like a keep under there, maybe. Okay, let's just steamroll this army, pull you guys this way. Make siege. Bombards, please. I think he's kind of out of cavalry, so hopefully we'll be able to actually protect our siege equipment. Come on, boys. And uh, let's hammer down the gatehouse, and then we can probably rush in there with a lot of our stuff. All right. Looking good. We got the old war machine going. Might need to get our food eco going again. I'm not sure. What does our eco look like now? It's still 77, which is pretty good. All right. So I don't think he's going to get the siege equipment here. I think we're okay. Take the gatehouse down. Uh, maybe he will. I'm not sure. He's certainly diving the right stuff, but we have bombard reinforcements very close by. Alright, cool. Looks good. Yeah, we bar barely lost anything. So, let's get in there now. Alright, rushing in. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's get that wonder. That should be the wonder. I'd be really surprised if he's able to defend this. And then we gotta finish him off, though, too. Although, Allied could be building a counter wonder in this entire time. Alright. So, down you go. Let's get you back here. Nothing brings harmony between teams like pushing, yeah, counter wonders. Yeah, Allied Trex going for a wonder now. All right, hey, you know, it's all good. I got my infrastructure. I'm ready to go. Please don't kill me. Okay, Green. Now you can help me. Uh huh. So it looks like there's a little trolling going down over here. I'm trying to shut down my trade. Now we can work together. Okay, Green. Let's roll. Well, let's roll for it. He's still building the wonder, so we still have a little bit of time. But we gotta probably get forward infrastructure for this. I'm not sure. Uh, our trade could be compromised here, 100%. But we can't. We can't. We, our focus must be uh, must be laser here. Okay. Let's go down here. Get you guys. Get you guys. And uh, get you guys coming. I would imagine he's probably pretty entrenched. Mind killing the keep on my TC? Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can kill that one. All right, there you go. In in the spirit of, of uh, you know, goodwill and friendship here. Probably need to build some forward infrastructure for this one. It's going to be tough. Got a couple men-at-arms moving in there, but, you know. We're going to try and kill all his landmarks. I don't know where they are, but you know, we'll have to find out. Oh, hello. He's just got... Ally Trex loves his men-at-arms. He always just has them, just randomly, all over the place. Okay, let's go kill those landmarks. I don't know where he put his last one, but we'll figure it out. And uh, our trade is going to be potentially compromised here, so we need to shut it down for now. Get you guys going up here. And, I mean, he better defend his base, too. Walls down. Okay, so we're going to test the waters on this stuff here. So let's go see. Pull our traders back. We have plenty of gold, so it's not a big deal either way. Is there a direct route we could take? There might be, actually. If we just destroyed the walls here, we could probably just run straight through our base and not even need to be a build forward infrastructure. There's Compound of the Defender, yeah, so that's almost all of his landmarks. So let's get you guys down here and go like start exploring and see what we can find. I I need to get that intel. Just don't attack my cannons, homie. No 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 no. He's attacking my cannons, I think. 
Okay, so let's uh, torch our way through here. Break through the walls. Looks like those springs are going to die. Get you guys moving in. All right, cool. So I think that's three landmarks of his down. Find his last landmark. Because that might actually just straight up be quicker, to be honest. Okay, so that's one, two, and three. Yeah, we need to get this one. And then we can maybe just kill him. Lots of Treb South. Yeah, I'm not surprised. He's He's been... I don't think Allied was really helping with the Wonder too much. Maybe a little bit. All right, let's go find his last his last goodies here. Okay, let's get the Bombard Cannons going that way. We have a big military coming, or we should. There's a keep there. We just need to find his last landmark, and then we can try and focus that down. Watch out for enemy siege. Watch out for enemy siege. I like that. It's pretty good. Okay, so honestly, probably delete these guys for now and just free up the supply. We don't have time. We'll, re we'll get these farms remanned. And uh, looks like he's trading down here a little bit. Okay, could be this direction. And we got bombards on the way, which is good. So we'll just kind of... We have time. We definitely have time. Okay, land snakes, hand cannoneers. So it's probably down here somewhere, for sure. So what we need to do, in the meantime, is build like 100 of these. And looks like we're in, so let's get you guys moving in. And build 100 Ramsteins. We have to get, we have to give them the Duhast. Let me know where last landmark is. Yeah, I mean, it's it shouldn't be too hard to get through this, I don't think. It depends on how good his armies are, I suppose. All right, we still have some traders going, which is kind of kind of a meme, but eh, I guess we could just get a couple going. Okay. Let's make those. Just keep steamrolling through the infrastructure in the meantime. Can you cannons attack, please? Thank you. So finish that, finish that, finish that, finish that. That'll give us a nice proper do host. We do see a couple relics there at this point in the game. I don't know like how much I really care about that. All right, so let's move down. Let's start taking out the infrastructure so he can't rebuild his armies. And bombard cannons can come and move through. Okay, let's get you guys down. It probably would be foolish not to grab these. All right, so we'll build a couple prelates and just have them make their way down there. Yeah, it looks like he still has some men at arms down there. Okay. I think his last landmark is... Alright, yeah, the bombards should knock this keep down pretty quickly. Let's keep you guys back. Take that down. If we can knock this keep down, he's going to be in some danger. Yeah, he's trying to get his spring alts in range. I don't think he's quite in range right now. Yep, looks like they're, they're doing their job. Okay. So knock the keep down, and he's in serious danger, I think. One more shot. Mount no, didn't quite get it. Looks like it's on fire anyways. Hopefully the bombard cannons will get it. Stone is going to become a sparse resource, so... We just need to get this going and get more uh, bombards and mangoes. Alright, keeps down, which is good. That's progress. Let's grab this relic, take it back to the old base. Hmm... So, yeah, not a bad trade. His army's definitely looking pretty weak. Okay, let's get horsemen, knights, whatever. Just whatever we can. Keep trading with his armies. Our poor traders up north got karate chopped. So that's going to hurt our gold income, for sure. I could allocate some resources to that, but I really, really want to hyper-focus. And I think the fact that we're getting um, all these relics here is going to make up for it. So I think we're okay. Okay, we have a lot of idle troops here because of a bad rally point. My faults. And uh, let's grab you guys, come down here, and have you set up uh, some infrastructure in his base. Yeah, mostly springs and stuff, which will be good against our bombards, but against our Holy Roman Legion of armor, I don't know how good that'll be. All right, let's keep moving. Keep pushing. We'll keep the, the, su the supply chain going. He's got some random dudes here. Let's see if we can grab some guys. Do we have any mace men? Alright, so let's get you guys go here and here and here. Pretty funny, he's just got like some random rams there. Okay. 
Start taking down the infrastructure. Go for this. Landmark has got to be in the corner. Yeah, probably is. Making slow and steady progress, man. It's uh, it's it's slow. Definitely with an emphasis on slow. But the bombards are cackling in the back. Let's pull them back. Move them up here. I don't know what kind of help I'm gonna get from my uh, buddy here. I think I think he got pretty beat up in that fight. It's gonna be tough to move these down. Okay, so let's set you up here. Make it harder to push me back. Get this, get this. Okay, so he just lost a bunch of springs. He's also gonna lose these. Spring all, let's get this down. Slipped on my macro for a second. It's okay, it happens to the best of us. Cool, so yeah, we just got a lot of a siege. Yeah, he's gotta be over here. Yeah, that's where the, the wonder is. Okay, so we gotta keep coming up in the base. Supply lines are, are building again, slowly but surely. Yeah, man, he must have banked a lot of resources, dude. He must have banked a lot of resources. Okay, so let's just start wearing all this down. Make it a little bit harder here. Okay, let's run to this corner. See if we can get any funny business going. Yeah, Green. Uh, Green's helping. He's trying. I can tell. He's he's giving it his he's giving it his all. Okay, let's pull you guys back. All right, so let's do a slow controlled demolition. Just keep pushing, destroying infrastructure while doing so. We'll get there eventually, man. There's no counterplay I have except killing the wonder. Okay, so let's start killing houses to kind of hammer his supply down. Let's get you down here. He lost all the spring alds. I mean, he's probably going to get supply blocked potentially. Let's cancel all those. Okay. Come on, team. We're getting through the houses. Yeah, target that. He's not. Then he's going to get supply blocked. He's got to be running a little bit dry on resources for sure. All right, let's garrison in there. Do you have any vills? We have you guys, so uh, we can actually put them here in that keep. That would be pretty sweet. And house, house, house. Maybe he has the means to rebuild. I'm not sure. He seems like to be getting a lot of siege. Yeah, but I'm actually hurting for gold now, so I might actually falter here, 100%. We're making progress, but not quick enough. Might have to try the Haggard Ramstein. We're not that desperate yet, but we're get we're getting there for sure. Okay, let's get you guys. Come here, build this. We don't have any trade, so him shutting down trade was very really strong, but not there wasn't much I could do about it. Maybe I could have reacted a little bit stronger to protect it, but... Okay. Keep wearing this down. He's got his little spring alds that could over here. Let's see if he could get that spring ult. That'd be nice. All right, so drop relic in here, buddy. Mm, he's going after it. It might be hard to get this one up. Just keep. I don't think it's gonna hold. Cancel it for now. Make another keep here. Five minutes left, team. Progress is progress, but is it quick enough? That's the question. Is my army really all here? Oh my god, what the hell is this? You guys seeing this shit? My, my units are just standing here. Oh no, how did that happen? Oh my, I mean obviously something I did wrong, but that's a lot of units just standing idle. Okay, so he's gotta be supply blocked a little bit now. Okay, so let's keep moving up. Keep moving down. Okay, let's make siege workshops. Do this and this. And we get the siege coming. Nice and fresh. We're gonna have to try like a Ramstein at some point or other. It's gonna have to be an old old Du Hostin. Maybe the other gentleman is doing some cheeky plays. I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. We're very close to his wonder, though. We're very close. Like, these keeps are getting just bonked down super hard. I think my homeboy is helping, actually. I do think he is. Oh my god. It's actually... What the hell is this getting... We're getting actually really close here. Let's bring the Battle Pope here. Okay. So let's bonk that down. 
And then we can try and rush through with everything, basically. Come on, come on. Okay, let's get in there. Let's get you guys up on this. See if we can get it. It's gonna be tight, but I don't think so. I don't think we'll get it in this run. Oh man, it's close. I don't think we're gonna get it. We don't have enough room. But we still have, what, three minutes left for one more push? Okay, that's pretty good. Oh my god, it's so close, guys. It's so close. I, I slipped on my macro again because I thought we were going to get it. Yeah. It's really, it's actually on fire. I don't think he has any villagers nearby. Holy shit, it might just burn down. Wow, that'd be really funny. Okay, we have time for like one more good push. I don't think he can rebuild all that. Okay, should have been macroing in the meantime. Got a little bit sloppy. It's okay. Let's get the mace, boys. Cool. Uh, we just threw a relic his way, which is pretty funny. All right, let's keep the siege going. If we had had more, like, horsemen and stuff, maybe. Okay, are my troops actually running here now? They are. Okay, good. So they're actually on their way. So two minutes. Uh, wow. It's still on fire, guys. He does. He has no villagers. He can't repair it. All right, let's just dive that shit with these guys. I think, I think that's the way here. I legit think he's got no villagers. He's not able to repair it, dudes. Oh my god, he can't repair it! Go, Sigmar! Oh, we got it! We got it, baby! It's fallen! Sigmar blessed this ravaged body! <laughs> oh my god, that was so sloppy too, but we still just barely pulled it out. Oh my god! Oh my god, that was tense, dude. Okay then. So now he's actually got a pretty decent little standing army here, but we just keep working through his infrastructure. Killing everything that we can. The Empire has won. <laughs> yes, good. Let your aggressive feelings... <laughs> Let them go, boy. Alright, so we gotta get trade back online if we can. The Duhast is here. All right, baby. Let's keep going. Keep torching all this infrastructure. He's coming for it, but Sigmar, Sigmar built some keeps over here, so we're chilling. All right, let's do a big like pincer here. See if we can like crash down on these guys. This is the last stand here of Allied Trex, it looks like. All right, let's uh, let's head him off. Try and get a little fight going here. Ah, uh, it's a little soppy. Green does have a lot of horsemen. Um, there's actually a, a slight amount of danger we're in here if we don't. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, like so. And then we just need to build a gatehouse there and we should be okay. Hopefully that actually seals the breach. Let's see if it does. Okay. So turn counter wonder. We don't need no wonders this game. We're, we're all business here. Okay, so let's switch the rally points to here, to here, to here. We'll just kind of keep steamrolling this base. Even though we're losing some stuff here. This is basically the last of his army. Now we just got to worry about the counterattack, right? And I think we have adequate walls and stuff. Yeah. All right, guys. I think we got this one. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But yeah, we just got to we gotta finish off allied. Now we got the gatehouse here. And let's make villagers and get back on wood because we're going to need an eco again. Yeah, his last landmark is like probably back in the corner somewhere here. I would wager. I just want Berry Bush's turn. I know. Was it, the, was it you? Were you the original Berry Bush guy? I don't think so. I don't think he's the Berry Bush guy from the days of old. All right. So can we get a prelate down here to grab this last relic? And uh, where the hell was it? Yeah, it was down there. All right. So I think we're good. Let's see if they're still in there. I don't know if they are. Oh, my God. That was really close, dude. That was really close. Oh, this game was stressful. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get in here and start attacking Homeboy's base. The Empire must crush all the rebellions. Truly, truly sheep palpatining it today. In Ultima Online, that's the name of my character, actually. His name is Sheev. Sheev Palpatine, yeah, pretty great. I managed to get the name, which is pretty crazy. 
Trax's turn trying to kill you off? Oh, most definitely, dude. We got it. We got to finish him off. Allied's too dangerous to be left alive. Yes, kill him if you can. He says, never mind. You see, he thinks that. He thinks that I'm all over here. All right. Let's fight here. Let's fight. Let's get some spearmen. And unfortunately, I don't have enough to fight those guys. Uh, curses. Yeah, man. My poor traitor's just constantly getting karate chopped. Men at arms are stalwart, man. They're not easy to kill. All right. Let's gather up our, our troops here. Keep pushing. Looks like we got them both under control. Hey, crush the rebels! Dude, the rebels are, are gonna get crushed for sure. I'm just bringing peace and order to the galaxy, all right? I'm just misunderstood. Uh, okay, so let's just go get some houses here. Wouldn't it be funny if Green just like got a wonder again? Is oh, I got the relic, baby. Yes. Do we have another keep here to put it in? We do. Well played. Well played, Allied. Your politics almost almost got me. The Alliance couldn't quite get its stuff together quick enough, though, thankfully. This is like, this is how Star Wars actually would have gone if it was real life. All right. Let's head over here. Uh, we'll get a prelate down there. We'll grab this. Get that on the table. And we can take a couple bills down there as well. Set up some keeps while we also push. Because it might take me a while to uproot his base here. Oh, my God. You think uh, Ally would have won if he went Tower to Victory? Definitely not. No. Tower of Victory is his... Rock, this was your chances. I like... I love Nanny Yori's peanut gallery commentary. It's so great. I love it. Thanks, no pressure. Alright, so we're gonna get that. We got the, the armored Holy Roman Dew host core coming for him. Oh, he's actually got a decent little army here. Well, we'll fight under the keep. It's okay. We can afford the attrition. We're throwing away our stormtroopers, basically. Alright, trade's on the way. Siege equipment's on the way. You guys just keep pushing. Torching buildings wherever you can. Be able to keep the trading post. Yeah, I don't I don't need to at this point. Because there's no threats to that trading post anymore. Allied's units won't attack me, so. Uh, actually, you know what? Can I just build a... No, the walls, the way his walls are set up will ruin, the, uh, ruin that for me. Okay, let's get the new host rolling. Looking good. Siege equipment will be here soon. I think it's just rolling over. It's nice and slow from the uh, Shadow Realm here. Traders are bringing back the big money. And how are we looking here? Yeah, I need to go find his farms. I need to quit messing around and play series. Oh, he's trading too. Look at this. How much is he getting? Oh, a 109. Wow. Look at that. Some actual good trade. All right. So we'll shut that trade down. And uh, gather our macro. Get the armies going. Is there any upgrades I don't have? I think I'm fully upgraded. All right. So keeps coming up. Set up a second keep here. It's only two workers. going to take like two hours, but that will pretty much guarantee it. Because him pushing into my base, really, I don't see that happening. So that is uh, securing the deal. Peace and goodwill towards all. That's all Palpatine ever wanted. Yeah, the traders are... That's going to cut off the cash cow there. All right. Let's get the bombards. Get them in. And, uh, yeah, we got the keeps coming. I don't know if they're going to finish. I, if he sends the horsemen down there, he should be able to shut it down. All right, Bombards, get the job done. Come on. This is awful keep warfare. By the way, Gunhound, how many of the pods are uh, are done? How are we looking for today's uh, today's finals? I'd be curious to see how that is. Okay. Can we finish that, please? Thank you. So now we just do the, the slow, slow roll through all of Zico. Uh, he does have this landmark here, which we probably want to go kill. The horsemen get there a little bit, a little bit too quick. So let's go send some spearmen down here. So he's gonna decap the sacred sites. It's all right though. We'll get it back. It won't take too long. And he's gonna attack. Keep some horsemen. Oh, I still have my prelate here. Nice. So the trooper is gonna go. Uh, hopefully chase those guys off. We're gonna lose a little bit of stone. I think it's about time for this line, yeah. Yeah, looking pretty bleak for him here. Power, unlimited power, all day. Yes, he can He can do the Palpatine voice lines for me. Come on, troopers. You got to get there and peel that. Okay, just farming units. Attack here. Good. Man, we had some really, um, really, really tense wonder situations this game. Where are those horsemen going? Are they just leaving? 
Or maybe they're gonna come try and snipe me already here. It's hard to say. Yeah, the trade coming back online pretty much heals his doom. And we're also in the farms now, so that's gonna cut off his food. Here we got this landmark being torched. And you guys just chill down here. Palpatine totally would be a prelate. He looks like a prelate. Yours and one more pod are going. All others done. Okay, great. Yeah, so our pod was pretty competitive, man. It was, it was definitely uh, anyone's game. GG. All right. Sigmar bless this ravaged game. We got there, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the Galactic Empire has been, has been uh, reborn here. So we got a couple donations from Nullset. Thank you for the 30. Sorry I missed that. I was in the heat of the game. Jesse and Tyler, thank you guys so much. So uh, close one. Close one, close one. Yeah, he was... Where Where the hell was... Oh my god. This is where this is where Allied's last landmark was. Yeah, of course. He's a really good FFA player. So I should have known. He was in the corner. I guess we could have come from here and like do hostage it or something. That could have been one way to get the job done also. Wow, man. Crazy. A nice 90 minute game, yeah. Let's look at the resources and the stats. Uh, Gunhound, who's hosting the last lobby, by the way? Love the video turn, can't wait for the tabletop channel. Dude, neither can I, man. I just want Old World to come out so bad. Cause that's what it's gonna be focusing on, right? Oh yeah, dude, look at that. 107,000 gold from the relics. Yeah, we, we had the most of, I think, every eco, every resource. Hey, Jordan, good game, man. That was stressful. I thought I actually thought you might've won on the Wonder. I did, Cause I didn't think Allied was gonna help me, so. It was getting a, it was getting a little bit tense. Nelosi's putting together the final. All right, perfect. So Nelosi can shoot me an invite. Perfect. Looks good. And we are almost good to go, man. We are just about good to go. So let me message Nelosi. It looks like Nelosi made it to the grand finals. Um, so guys, this one is on King of the Hill. The old world is gonna be square based, yeah, yeah. So Nelosi, shoot me an invite when you can. And we'll get in there. I've been playing a ton of Malians, guys. They, they would be fun to play in the finals, maybe. I don't know, how would Malians do on King of the Hill, though? I don't know, I feel like their units are a little flimsy for like these big, big scary FFA games. Yeah, King of the Hill, man. Oh my God, this is a wild one. Um, definitely gonna be seeing some English. England is just crazy strong. Probably England is the best Civ. Yeah, your Abadie's in here. Your Abadie uses a gold icon, which is pretty funny, even though he's Conquer. <laughs> That's how he throws people off. He's like, I'm too weak. Look, I am a gold player. And they take it easy on him and play the Civs they're not good at. And then, then he comes in and gets them. Yeah, the blessed king of the hill, dude. Trex is tricksy in his attack on the wonder. He always is. Trex is Trex is always a tricksy player, dude. He always is like backstabbing, not backstabbing, but like sneaking into your base somehow or like setting up some Good elaborate luck. Ramstein. Have fun. Are you ready? Are to you battle? ready to battle? Okay, so we got a bunch of English players. Yeah, not surprised. God, like, do I do I like do I really want to fight against English? There's no trading on this map, guys. None. Trading is just off the table. Your Avity is the underdog. Well, there's no trade on this map, legit. If your Avity plays Ottomans, he's gonna he's gonna be in for a rude awakening. He knows that. Unless they change King of the Hill. Um, Roos on this map could be okay, actually. What do I, what what do I get with Roos? I love the Wololo. I feel like we should play something different. Roos, I get access to hunting cabins, I guess, and bounty. That's pretty much it. I mean, they're unique units. Horse archers aren't really good. Attack the blue player. This is gonna be tough, dude. This is gonna be tough. HRE against England is okay. Your men at arms can beat theirs and you're pretty resilient against their longbows. It depends though if you get the relics or not, right? Oh, no, Holy Romans are good. They're one of my best civs. Holy Romans are one of my mains. Holy Romans, English, and uh, Malians are my mains right now. Roos are really good with the hunting cabins though on this map, I'm telling you. Hmm. Tricky stuff. I'm gonna go grab some water real quick. Um, so let me tell the guys, BRB, water, 30 seconds. So they hopefully won't start without me. China's gonna be really good. We got Uravity on China. China's like, China does run out of gold though. That's the thing. French are obviously very good. 
Yeah, Abbasid is going to be bad without trade. Yeah, Ottomans. Man, Roos, Roos, England, England. I think we have to do Sigmar Proud, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some water. We're back in business, ladies and gentlemen. Ready. All right, turn. Uh, so I was thinking of a buff to great swords and thought of great sword style. Sword master great swords getting splash attacks. That'd be pretty cool, yeah. They gave him like special splash. I don't know how they would balance that. That wololo was very loud. All right, so yeah, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go holy ramens. Let's uh, scout our. So we got Nelosi, who is a diamond player, I think. Yeah, it looks like Diamond. See, I know how good Nilos. Nilos is very strong. Gravity is scary. Authentic is Diamond. Yeah, so it's mostly going to be Diamond and uh, Conqueror. Oh, wow. Holy shit. This guy's Conqueror 3 in 1v1. Jesus. Or is that team games? I can't quite tell. God damn. And, okay, at least, I mean, I'm not the Archvillain anymore. There's, there's, okay, a Wild Silver 1 player has made it here. And we got a platinum player and uh, conqueror. So wow, several conqueror. I, 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 yeah. There's some really strong players in here, dude. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Milosi, no. All right, it's go time. Sigmar blesses ravaged body. Let's get the W. All right, let's try. So they announced the Diablo Four release date. Day, it's gonna be a while. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm definitely gonna give it a try. I love D2. D2 is like one of my favorite games of all time. Um, yeah, we're gonna go Holy Romans because you know S Sigmar will guide us to uh, either a crushing defeat or or something else. We'll have to see. Uh, large, large, I think. Yeah, normally large. Gigantic takes a little a little too long. Let's see how this goes. All right, guys, Holy Romans. We got a bunch of, uh, I, I'm about to hit Conqueror 1 myself. I think I could probably get Conqueror 2, but that would probably be my peak. I don't think I'm like good enough to play with the really top dogs. Like low con like low to Conqueror 1, I think is my, my dwelling area. But there's definitely some players who are much stronger in this game right now. Uh, Antonand and, uh, and and Toxa. I wonder if, they, if they're like together. Their names are very similar. We believe in you. English Farms? I know. I have to, I have to, man, yeah, this is, this is tough. This is tough. The double Chinese and triple English, I mean, dude, that's just pure misery. That is like straight up pure misery. If I get three relics, then I would say I'll, I'll have a chance. If I get no relics, if I get like one or two, then we're in really, really dire straits. Really, really dire straits. Yeah, but if you want, if you really want to win an FFA, you should just go English or Chinese. There's, there's like no one else who can compare to those sibs. China is just crazy because they get so many landmarks. So they're like really hard to snipe. Um, their military units are insanely good. Their eco is insanely good. England gets infinite gold, so don't need to go into that too much. But um, yeah, you guys get the picture. It's nuts. Yeah, this is going to be a rough one. But again, it's the grand finals of a tournament. So most people will try hard. I'm obviously going to just play what I like here. But Holy Romans are coming, dude. I got the floppy hats of doom. Turtle with the relics. Yeah, I just have to be the haggard wonder troll in the corner, you know? Yeah. Holiest of turtles. All right, let's see this. Okay, we got a nice little position. Very cozy here. The worst positions are the ones where you're like in the middle of two players. Like the corner position, what I just got is um, is definitely ideal. Okay, so Roos. I almost want the Roos players to be a little bit stronger, but I should, I should play smart and not just give them free bounty. Right? I mean, come on. Let's not be a potato here. Okay, let's do that, and then that. And where do we want to go with our Aachen Chapel? Yeah, we can get the sheep moving up here, I guess, for now. Or, yeah, we'll, we'll deny some game. There are two Roost players, so... Probably smart to do this. Yeah, because building Aachen here feels crappy just for one gold node. Like, I'd rather give me long-term. So I'm thinking of building it back here by the berry bushes and by the tree line, so I can get, like, at least... 
It'll be a oh, man, but then the castle age is so much slower. Alright, so no freebies for the roost today. Gotta find some sheep. You must squander. I have to crush the rebellion, it's true. Roost players are gonna be sad. Normally they get like all this free bounty in FFA, but <laughs> not today. Palpatine's gonna take it all. Can you even turtle versus roost in China? I mean, here's the thing. If they don't perceive me as the biggest threat, which they probably shouldn't considering I'm playing Holy Romans, then um, then there's a chance I could turtle, yes, and just sit in the corner and just kind of let everyone kill each other. That's probably my best bet. <laughs> we'll see about it. I don't know. Holy Romans should get bounty, dude. I deserve it. Just give me the bounty. Okay. You need to go drop some sheep off. But first we'll come this way. Yeah, a couple deer camps. We could also go for those. Oh my god, look at the amount of hunt. Okay, I don't have time for this. I need to go. I need to go be more productive here. And drop some sheep off at of the base. Okay, relic. I think I'm gonna get a second scout just to really, really know where everyone is and like know where all the relics are. Because eight player maps, that's gonna be more important for sure. This map feels like a gigantic map. It doesn't feel like a large one to me. Maybe I'm. I could be wrong, but it definitely feels colossal. Okay, so let's go drop these off. And uh, we'll continue going out and scouting. Yeah. Yeah. Empty. Okay, we still have a little food here. We're not in danger yet. And let's get the sheep going there. All right, they're going to hustle. And let's get you going up here. All right. So about to go to the next age. And uh, we only really need two in wood for now, I suppose, just to get a house. Not an optimal build. I kind of screwed it up a little bit, to be honest. Okay, so let's grab you guys. Do this, 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 and get the Aachen going like so. We're kind of playing, planning for the long run. It's going to give us a good food supplement. Actually, no. It needs to go down here. Because I always forget that Aachen is a resource drop-off now. Okay, so Rooster hunting, getting a nice little bounty. Let's go down here and check the side of the map and see if there's any relics waiting around. Oh, that's not good. Okay. So let's get the sheep over here, actually. Oh, hello. So we got Roost with the Golden Gate. Oh, look at that. How dare you? How dare you kills one of my scouts? Okay. Well, that's why we that's why we have two. All right. So I see one relic. Sheep for sheep, yes. Oh, did I take one of your sheep? I'm sorry. I, I, I've done you wrong. They've wronged us. Okay, so gold's going. Let's pull you guys down here. Turn in. Do this. I see two relics so far. Which is not great. If I could get like a freebie by my base, that would be like the ideal situation. Yeah, 10 to 12 relics. There should be quite a few on the map, for sure. That's for sure. So you guys will cut and do this, and then a couple of you guys can set this up. I wonder why he's attacking me. What, what, are, you, what are you trying to accomplish here? What funny business is this? We'll build a second prelate um, to, to hype up the gold workers. So give them the give them the Jesus. Give them the power of the power of Christ shall compel them to uh, to mine mine faster. Okay, very bushes down here. Yeah, I'm sandwiched between the two conqueror players. Yeah, it's true. Hopefully they don't set their sights. I mean, I could I, I could definitely compete with them one v one. I don't know. It's it's gonna it's gonna be tricky. All right, let's get you in there, buddy. And uh, we should have another fire chuck coming out. So let's get him up here. Looks good. Now we just go castle. Okay, looking pretty pretty bleak in the relic department. So we have too many on wood at the moment. And we can get you on food. Let's get the wheelbarrow. And now we just go castle, basically. They're for sure going to be playing greed. 100% going to be playing greed. Hopefully, Nelosi left a spectator on. So if I die, I can, I can go uh, give people a perspective on the game and everything. Okay, let's get on the berry bushes here. We got lumber going, which is great. Let's see if there's any relics down here. Only those ones so far, man. Not not liking that. Not liking the relic layout. Okay, they're just reaching feudal now, so... They're probably going to go 2TC, which makes sense. 100% makes sense. Okay, I'm not seeing any relics here. Oh my god, and it's an English player. Ay ay ay. That's going to be scary. Yeah, pretty tight base. Let's go check over here, see if we can find any relics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So usually you want to open up with a stable. 
That's weird. Yeah, it can shut down pressure, gives you, you know, a little bit of control so you can get relics. You guys know the drill. And Wheelbarrow is going to be finishing here. And one relic is uh, is there. All right, so Regnet's Cathedral. Yeah, this map's really good for Roost because you, can, in some ways, because you can build the hunting cabins along the edge of the map and just get a ton of resources. It's very, uh, very, very good for you. So English longbows could show up. I would be really surprised to see early longbow pressure, though. That would be really strange. Okay, there's the third relic. Okay, so there's there's the the Holy Trinity there that I need to go for. <laughs> Okay, so what's more important to me? I guess I want to um, set up some walls. That's a long wall. I could do this. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start getting some walls just to be safe. English are more likely to press me early, so get a couple horsemen as well. Set you up and keep scouting out the middle. So we get a third prelate. Okay, we see another relic. We see another relic. Okay, they're all up in the middle. Yeah, they're all up in the middle. All right, so we're gonna just set up the Great Wall of the Holy Roman Empire. Get a couple cavalry, and they're gonna go sit on these. And now we need to um, one, two, get you guys going, and perfect. This horseman can just go scout. We're just gonna build like one horseman unless there's signs of that more pressure is coming. Kind of looks like he was getting attacked. That was like weird looking. All right, so keeping tabs on the sacred site. You just need a little bit more gold. Let's get here, buddy. And then we should be able to go castle. Pretty slow though. We didn't go like turbo fast because I wanted to make sure to have some military infrastructure. We may live to regret that, but it is what it is, so. Okay, can we get the gold turn in here? Let's do that please. And let's get you to turn in and let's get the Regnant's Cathedral down here. And you guys can do that as well. All right, so Regnant's is on its way. Got horsemen chilling on relics. Um, we got the Great Wall of the Roman Empire here coming. Okay, and then we can get you chilling up here. So now we need to get our fire tucks and send them out. So let's get the Battle Pope squad going. So let's get one of you guys going here. And you can go here, buddy. And uh, we need to get our Aachen character as well. This is like... Okay, yeah, perfect. Oh, for a second I was like, I was like, wait a second, where did everyone go? Okay. So get more guys here. Hopefully we can grab those relics. We got Castle Age coming, but you know, I think we should be okay. Get you here, you here, and you buddy can go up and grab uh, this relic here, which is being guarded. And yeah, now we just gotta, we just gotta not die basically, is, is the game plan. Okay, so we're just gonna completely wall off the English on that side. I know the roost could come for me, but I'm kind of hedging my bets and just hoping to get lucky. All right, so let's go here. And now we can start grabbing the goodies. I must admit, it's nice not having to do politics and like type and like try and defend myself. <laughs> like I was last game, you know, I kind of had to like, kind of had to be like, make cases to not come and get me. All right, so let's go here. Have you do this. And now we need to get some military infrastructure or else we're gonna just get karate chopped. Okay, horseman. All right, so relics. We got three relics. That is a, that is a really, really good start. So let's drop it off at the old uh, cathedral here. Now we just hit wood super hard. And uh, yeah. Whoa, did he not grab the relic? Oh man, buddy, come on. Come on, man. Okay, so we're chilling here. We got all the horsemen. So let's get them up here to protect this position. And uh, in the meantime, we can just have you guys jump on the remnants of these sheep. Not that they're super important. And we can get a uh, marketplace. And get you in there. Get you back. Bring you here. We got the three horsemen of doom. And it looks like this uh, gatehouse has been uh, fully set up. So now we can just go for Aachen farm economy, I'm thinking. Let's grab you guys and do this. It's going to take a while, but why can we not do that? It's so weird sometimes how that works. Is there like a gate there or something? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. That is a big, ugly wall, but somebody's got to do it. All right, so let's grab you guys. Do this. Start setting up some farms. Let's get the farm eco going. We got three relics. Second one's about to be dropped off. Definitely need to get some barracks going here. Let's grab you. Head up here, grab this relic, and then come back. If we could get four, man, four or five, that actually puts us in a really, really solid position. 
Okay, we have like no food going at the moment, which is really Bronzodia. Farms, farms. Do this. Set up the barracks. Alright, looks good. Hey, Chaotic Blizzard, thanks for becoming a member. Greatly appreciate it, man. And I think the other prelate's coming back. He is. Great. So we'll get you, and then we can get another religious building. We're playing very greedy right now. Like, very, very greedy. But it could pay off. I'm not sure. We'll find out. So let's go kind of guard these last two relics here. See what we can get done in that regard. We got the food gathering. We got the lumberjacking. All the goodies are coming in. No, really, man, I really appreciate it. Thanks for uh, thanks for rejoining, brother. Helps out quite a bit. Welcome back to the Dukes of Haggard, my friend. Okay, let's do that. Let's also get a blacksmith since there's an English player nearby. Probably want to get some men-at-arms. Uh, what, what's this? Okay, knights are coming. <laughs> yeah, knight, the, the dreaded knights are here. So yeah, we could get some pressure coming. We got three relics though. I I could I am pretty confident or I feel pretty good calling that a W. Um, we could get raided by knights now, so let's do this. We got this prelate coming. He's gonna grab this relic, and uh, then we can just continue setting up the Aachen farms, which are really good. So we got the Great Wall. I don't think I'll be able to protect too much here. Are we getting attacked by the horsemen? I don't think so. Let's get you back on gold. Not that we need to mine too much gold. And you come back down here, buddy. We could just put it right in this uh, this old building we built there. Okay, so the Roos are building a hunting cabin in my base. That's really interesting. Okay, so we're going to not like react to that too much yet because it's not a huge deal. Unless unless there's some like secret Roos strategy I'm not aware of. Which there very well could be. Let's uh, get our horsemen back down here. Got you guys, get a couple knights coming out. I really wonder what he's doing with that. Is he just like trying to keep tabs on my base? Is there some roost tactic that all the pros are doing that everyone and their dog just likes to copy? Don't know. Okay, so he's, he's killing my wall. So it looks like he might want to royal rumble it, which I honestly don't know how that would go. Don't know how that would go. All right, so we got prelates and everything. We got the dudes coming. Holy Roman Master, the Holy Roller is going to drop this relic off here. And that's going to be four relics, which is actually really good. And then we need to go ahead and get some uh, archery ranges. So let's get archery ranges, please. And so just crossbow and men-at-arm is pretty good against Roos, I think. All right, let's do that. Get all the upgrades coming. Let's go attack this. How much is he getting from that? 48 gold a minute. It's pretty damn good. And let's get you. All right, guys. So the eco is going well. Oh my god, what the hell is this? You guys seeing this shit? The greed! The greed on this man! He's gonna lose a bunch of bills here. Oh my god, he's got the high trade house in the corner? Okay, he's got a lot of units though, so we need to actually uh, muster a good army. Alright, so let's get back here. Ooh, we could be in some danger actually. He's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, so let's get you guys coming out. Let's buy some food, get the crossbows on the way. That, that is a very aggressive corner push. Okay, so let's just get our troops in the base. Hopefully we can fight them off here. And uh, we're going to need to set up some towers that, to, to deal with this. Wow, this is a wild-ass like corner play, man. Well, let's make a bunch of spears and get some towers up and uh, just try and hold it. This could, this could be our doom for sure. And we'll get a siege workshop as well. Because he's going to build a keep over there, 100%. Thankfully, though, we got all those relics, so that's that's quite nice. So he's just massing cab, I think. Yeah, so I think we can we can just uh, we can just mass crossbows and men at arms and spears and shit, and we'll be fine. All right, let's get a spring in placement here. He's coming in with a little bit of pressure, but again, we have towers, so we can defend. We just need a little bit more time to get like a critical mass, and I think we should be okay. Okay, let's fight. Let's get in the keep. And we have a spring all tower coming here. And let's get you guys in the keep there. We could just be dead. I was not expecting this kind of an aggression. Jesus, man. He's getting hog wild in my base. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of damage for sure. But, you know, we're taking, we're taking just as much as we're given, if not more. And we got that dreaded keep in our base. Oh my god, this is this is bananas, bro. He's got he's like all in me. Oh my god, he's probably still gonna be in good shape. 
But looks like we're gonna die, man. I should have respected the Roos aggression. I was like so hard focused on the English, but no. Dear God. Sheep for sheep. All right, let's garrison up here, guys. And see if we can like at least survive. So let's get some spears back here. We do have a lot of relics, so that'll give us a little bit of time to work with, but not too much. And uh, we do need to get the treb coming out now as well. All right, crossbows. Dude, I was not expecting this kind of aggression, man. This is crazy. Yeah. Like a keep in my base and shit? What is this? And I just lost so many villagers. I'm down to 22, so I'm basically in the dregs. I'm basically in the pits. I could offer him relics, but I did not expect an all like an all-in aggression like that. That's pretty crazy. All right, let's get on the farms. At least, uh, at least some of the knights are you know being dragged down here. Let's get some of the spearmen over here. He's getting really aggressive. Oh my god! Destroy the market. <laughs> well, I would destroy the market after. It wouldn't be. It would just be a survival type thing, so we can't trade off it if I manage to squeak away somehow. All right, so let's get you guys here. Get a couple spearmen going. Attack. And there we go. So what can we do? We do have a treb here, so let's start knocking that down. Oh my god, this is some aggressive ass shit. Who does this in FFA? Well, I guess it worked for him last game. He just kills one of his neighbors. Help, I am too weak. Blue tyrant. <laughs> I need to just hold on for as long as possible, guys. That's actually legit to play, though. And then we just like defend here in the corner and guard this uh, treb. Use all what resources we can. We're still getting gold. So we are knocking down his keep here, which is cute, but he's gonna start knocking down our shit. Thankfully we have the emergency repairs. Oh my God. Yeah, I, oh, I'm definitely like dead. Unless somebody else intervenes, I am, uh, I am toast. Okay, blue to south west attacking me. He's vulnerable at home. I have to try whatever I can. But hey, worst case, we can just go cast. Oh my god, who would have expected a keep rush like this? Okay, do we have another trap coming out? It's crazy how we can still like keep this going. Yeah, even with, uh, even with, uh, yeah. Making villager seems pointless at this point. Let's get the ranged attack armor. Pregnant's Cathedral's here. That kind of makes sense though, because if I'm so greedy, he can just, um, uh, yeah, what do I do with the relics? I don't know. His keep's almost down, but like we just aren't going to be able to do much against his army. Like he's going to have a doom legion. We have the emergency repairs, which will buy us a little bit of time. He's making cross crossbowmen right now. Who does? Well, uh, yeah, this is really aggressive though. This I was not expecting this type of aggression. All right, so let's get you. Let's get you here. Somehow we're still kind of alive. Uh, I don't have a market anymore, so I can't trade, yeah. So we're, we're basically just idling. Okay, um, let's take down the siege workshop. I'm just literally buying, trying to buy here. I think he actually killed the market himself, interestingly enough. So let's kill these knights as they charge in here. Here we go. So we just gotta try and hold and, and hope that somebody else takes him out. Okay, let's get a villager, let's repair this. Like, maybe he loses interest because somebody else attacks him. We just have to be as difficult to kill as possible, is, is what we need need right now. Okay, so we got a market coming up. A couple of you guys on farms, please. And uh, we need to take out that little stone thing so he can't just be feasting on our, our goodies all day. Okay, we do have uh, spring towers back here. No, we don't have anything, actually. Yeah, so we're basically just toast. All right, let's see if we can fight this off. Drag the knights down. Yeah, we got a couple of the horse archers down. Let's get go get to the TC. What I could do is make a great escape with all the relics, which would be really funny, actually. All right, we actually are fighting back okay, all things considered. All right, let's move around there. So the TC is back. Um, man, the relics are gonna go for sure. So we need to we need to get the relics. Oh no, he's coming for him. I forfeit if I forfeit if you are winning. Okay, I don't know what they're talking about now. Okay, let's go up here, guys. Let's try and pick off whatever we can. This is where the haggard plays are made. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. I should have scouted him. I didn't even scout him. I just assumed he would be doing other things. Okay. So let's get you guys up. Let's get some spearmen coming. Yeah. 
Is he gonna come into the Wolo low? <laughs> you guys ready for this? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Just hiding in there. Oh no, Friar Tuck! Alright, Spears. I need somebody else to come in and, and do something. I can't hold for much longer. I'm too weak. Make Arbalists? I don't have Arbalists. That wouldn't help me. Well, what's perfect is we can jump out and cast this afterwards. So you guys are going to get to see the whole battle. I'll fast forward up to the point where I get karate chopped. And then, yeah, you guys will get to see everything, basically. So we have a Relic in here. He's still pressing rather aggressively, which means that, like, probably nobody else is going after him. I don't think anybody else is. I think I think it's just me versus, versus him at the moment, which is not good. And I don't have enough to build a, a land, or like a, a landmark anywhere. Maybe I could. S okay, he got the he got that relic. We still have a couple. Okay, so let's get this tower to shoot here. If possible? Does it have a spring alt? Okay, it does. So I still have some relics generating. I have one in here. Granted, it's not going to be doing a whole lot for me. Is there any way I could like get to Imperial? Let's see. Palace of Swabia would be 960. So that's about as much as I can afford to do. So we'll mine here, and I'll go try and build Palace of Swabia somewhere else. I feel like he's going to get through me before that, though. 100%. Because, yeah, we, we would need, like, 800 food or something like that, which is pretty substantial. And the, the Prelate's in here. I think he can pop out. He's, he's fleeing the scene. Oh! <laughs> yeah. No, I think most people are happy I'm going to die, because then we can see the whole game. Man, I should have scouted him. It wouldn't have been too hard to hold with a bunch of spears, but we were just so greedy on the relics. All right, where are we at? Can we buy, can we buy a little bit more? It's not going to happen. Uh, GG, off to cast I go. Oh, wait, can I just stay in the game? Let's see. Can I stay? Is this going to let me go? Oh, my God, no. Let me stay in the game and just cast so I don't have to reload everything. Holy shit, it looks like things are getting wild. Looks like things are getting absolutely wild, dude. Oh man, yeah, we were so greedy that game. We should have we should have scouted. He was probably over here for a while, and I just didn't scout him at all. Not at all. Okay, so it says view summary. Is there any way I can get rid of this and get the casting tools? I don't think so. Right? So if I go back, and then I tab. Let's see. I don't think there's any way here that I can cast without resetting. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Like, I can see everything, but there's no game sound. Anyone help me with green? Oh, I thought I thought I was green. Okay. I guess we just jump out and hope for the best. Hopefully, Nelosi, but you don't get to see their resources. No? Okay. We'll just jump out and fast forward. Hopefully, that'll work out. Yeah, I was very greedy. I didn't build any military until, like, very late, and then he was already just all over me. Because the time that I was spending on relics, he was just he was just building an army. Um, all right, please, yes, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We'll have a delay. I should be able to fast forward. I, what kind of a delay did we actually have? What kind of a delay did we have? I'd be curious about that. I think hopefully hopefully there was none. We can just load in and catch right up. Mm. No, I don't think there's any way to do it. So we'll just reload here. Just the one, I like the one haggard Holy Roman in the corner versus all the <laughs> English and Chinese. Yeah, it's wild. Although to be fair, Roos have been kind of aggressive in FFA games in my experience. Yeah, typically they can be, especially against Holy Romans, it makes sense because if they do all the work gathering the relics for you and you just kill them when they're like weakened from being greedy, yeah, that seems like, it seems pretty strong, dude. Seems pretty darn strong. Should have been set to five minutes. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know what that was. Is that to prevent like stream sniping so their friends don't watch and stuff? We'll see. All right. So we'll do fast forwarding and try and get to that like point. And we can focus on some of the other action in the game as well, right? So we'll fast forward. So spawning on the south side was myself getting wrecked. Over to the west, we have our Roost player who is going to be uh, Anatand. Up in the northwest, we have Nelosi. Nelosi is going to be on English. Very, very strong defensive civilization, as we all know. Up in the far north, we have our orange player, who's going to be Claret, and uh, that is going to be another Roos player. Roos apparently are good on this map. I've heard whispers and seen them used in the past, a pretty good effect, that they do well. Chinese in the far, far north, that is going to be Authentic. And to the east, we have another English player, which is going to be An uh, Angel, we'll call him Angel for short. 
and Uravity over this direction and to the west, like I said, we have our English player and Toxa. So a lot of, you know, very, very strong players in this game for sure. Roos here doing the, the bouncy jam. And yeah, we could fast forward pretty far. So we're going to kind of just catch up with the live state of the game and then we can get into casting. Major Mula, thank you so much. I think we're good. Yeah, both of my play neighbors are very strong. So I was just trying to get the relics and be greedy. And, uh, you know, if we had a little bit more time, he went 2TC. So it looks like Anatan went with the 2TC, which makes sense. Very, very common roost tactic. You find a nearby hunt and you uh, build the TC on top of it and it helps you kind of get to Castle Age pretty quickly whilst uh, using the Golden Gate to not really have to focus on gold. You can actually focus on stone more so with the workers you would have had on gold and you can progress pretty quickly, which is cool. Great walls coming up all over the map. Up in the north, we have Authentic setting up a Great Wall, which is going to be going down the Great Wall of China, the Great Walmart Wall of China. It is, uh, it is obviously going to be made of wood. Nobody going to be going for the relic here in the middle at this point. Over to the east, England playing Farmville. England, I would say, is one of the best FFA civs in the game. Very, very good. Um, infinite gold, crazy food eco, really good armies with longbows and men at arms with extra armor and attack speed upgrades from the uh, network of castles. I would say, like, the top FFA civs are probably between England and China. Depends on the maps, depends on the gold, all that sort of other good stuff. So you have to be kind of privy to that. So, yeah, we're catching up pretty quickly, actually. I obviously was setting up my Great Wall, but he was already developing infrastructure over on my western front. You can see hunting cabins coming down. And on this map, they're very, very good. And he even built one there. So at this point, I have, like, no military. I got, like, a couple barracks, able to get a couple relics. But in the meantime, he's already building a core of knights up. So it looks like he has five or six knights, and I don't have a single unit on the battlefield. So this is um, kind of the end, beginning of the end that you can see for uh, me. Up in the north, we have a little bit of a wall battle going down between Blue and Nelosi. Nelosi, in my experience, a very defensive player in uh, FFA, so I don't think that Nelosi is going to be getting too crazy in terms of attacking Blue until it were maybe the late game or something like that. Just going to be getting relics, going to be getting the infinite gold. And both players are building the wall. So clearly blue is going to be walling north with the uh, idea or anticipation of attacking the south. That's going to be the game plan there. Over to the east, we do have our green English, who is obviously... Sorry, just taking off the sweater, guys. We're going to get into serious caster mode now, baby. Activate turn two times speed. All day, man. All day. I can do this all day. But yeah, this is basically... I'm just dead at this point. Because he's building a big army. I was having to build my infrastructure to try and catch up. We try and get a couple towers, but it's too late. He can build keeps. It's going to be very, very ugly indeed. Now, in the middle, we do get Nelosi grabbing the Sacred Site, which is pretty funny. So, the Old English are looking quite strong in the north as well. Spears and Knights up in the north here. We do have our other Roost player with a lot of uh, a lot of Knights and Archers looking to maybe attack into their Chinese neighbors. We will have to see. And to the south, England just growing tyrannical. We have the Windguard Palace. So, Antoxa is probably one of the strongest in the game right now in conjunction with the Chinese in the north. And we do see Uravity actually pressuring one of the neighbors here. So Angel is just getting absolutely smashed by Uravity's Chinese. So it's going to be Palace Guard getting into the base. And wow, there was actually a lot going on this game. This was this was pretty crazy. Relics coming out, but they're going to be uh, offered to China. And China is going to be taking them happily. As this is pretty much the end of both myself as well as Angel here. Both of us are going to be uh, being sent off to the Shadow Realm. Sent out to pasture, as you could say. Desperation Villager pull gets one trebuchet, but pretty much loses the entire economy for it. Not a bad play by any stretch. You know, in FFA, you want to just kind of try and buy as much time as you possibly can for yourself if you're being killed, kind of like I was doing. Because there's always a chance that somebody else could backstab them and you could get back in the game. But that was not in the cards for today. So yeah, this English player is probably going to die. We're going to see Angel going down here as we look on down to the south. The same thing basically happening to my base. So um, yeah, I was not the only victim of some uh, very, very scary aggression here. Ramstein coming in from the Chinese. Uravity going to be uh, bringing the full brunt force of this Chinese nation. Over to the west, we don't really have any aggression here. Just a wild roost keep up in the north with a nice wooden palisade. Nelosi typically will play very defensively in my anecdotal experience and then build like a wonder and things like that. So I, I would wager it's going to be very defensive England, which is good. Let all the, you know, scary conqueror players battle each other, knock each other out, do your thing there, and uh, then you live your best life. So battering rams stacked with palace guard is pretty cool. I don't think you can woe low low battering rams. I don't think the wooden fibers are willing to see religion and be converted. We do see some Palace Guard coming out. Some of them might be converted there. It looks like they are. He converted a bunch of Palace Guard. Look at that. So the English player converts like all those Palace Guard. Oh my god. And he kills all the traps. The Chad English plays. Just holding on for dear life here, guys. Oh my god. What a play. What a play. How cool was that? Okay, I'm actually really happy I died now. Because we actually get to see all this fun shit that's happening around the map. I think it's more fun this way for sure. But um, England holding on like a champ, dude. They do have the White Tower. Although it looks like the White Tower has been destroyed. 
So England is just kind of desperation repairing their uh, last landmark here, which is the council hall, which looks to be on death's bed. And uh, now Uravity is going to be going in for the kill over here. Up to the northwest, we do have aggression coming in from Claire. Claire is going to be moving and attacking the uh, purple Chinese, authentic, authentic, uh, authentic Chinese here. Sounds like a local restaurant. Is going to be uh, getting popped by the Barbican and a nest of bees, but overall it looks like the Roos aggression has paid dividends. And if you're playing Roos on this map, or Roos in general against China and England, I think early aggression is going to be super, super warranted for sure. The, red is, the relics, look at that, he's got a legion of relics using religion to try and fend off the Chinese. Not going to work though as Uravity is uh, is going to Thanos him. He's inevitable. He's coming in. Although, doesn't want to let the White Palace get repaired. A lot of villagers getting absolutely cut apart here. We do see a Wolo Lo going down. Not going to want that to happen again. A couple of the Chinese soldiers are converted by the power of uh, the Bible there. And they're once again pushed back. And man, look at this. He's holding on. He's holding on like a champ, dude. Yeah, he's, he's, not, going, he's not going down easy. And here, look at this, guys. So now we can kind of get to... This is where... It, the game was when I got karate chopped out of the game. Okay. Now we have a backstab, and now this English player is still alive somehow, right? This is this is the spice of life in free for all games. We get green coming in, attacking Uravity. Uravity actually under some serious pressure. Now he does have the Great Wall Gatehouse, so this is going to be very very nice for um, helping him defend off these like parrying and raid and all these sort of attacks like that. But we do see the horsemen moving over, starting to attack some of the villagers. Palace Guard should be able to kind of clean them off. Your Avity should be able to hold, I would wager. It depends on how serious this English player is. Um, Antoxa is actually quite a bit stronger in terms of resources, I think. So Antoxa has a pretty good bank. Your Avity has an okay bank. But this is not going to be an easy hold. I mean, when England is ahead of you eco-wise and, and tech-wise, and they're like just slow grinding you down, it's pretty much a death sentence. Like, I know Uravity is a very good player, but so too is Antoxa. They're both Conqueror level players, but Uravity kind of got caught in a tricky situation because he was like really... What is with all these religious characters? Why does, why does Angel have so many monks, dude? And now he's back online. He's going to get this town center back. He's going to get the farms and, uh, you know, he's going to be there. So Uravity in a little bit of danger, like I said. Counterweight Trebuchet is going to be bombarding in. And we do see a lot of Nest of Bees in the distance. And, uh, yeah, they'll be really useful. But England can just swarm them with men at arms in my anecdotal experience. We do see Palace Guard here able to kind of fend off one of the attacks. Uravity does have a really good farm economy. So his food income is going to be quite good. Chinese hand cannoneers also very, very nice here. But it's just kind of a numbers game. And really, really nice to bees action, but the uh, the cavalry are diving in, picking off a couple of the nests, and we see the English trebuchets. English trebuchets are like the true Thanos piece, Thanos piece in this game. They're just like inevitable death sentences. As they continue to move in, I'm going to be dropping more and more shots here. We see the counterweight trebuchets uh, shooting in there, and nice attacks. Up in the new north, we do see one Chinese player fall, so Angel uh, did fall. Looks like the Roos were able to get aggressive, so the Roos players with two kills this game. Really, really aggressive play coming in from both Roos. And uh, is England back? Yeah, they they got their farms. If anybody tries to come into his base, there's certainly going to be a lot of healing. And he managed to keep his four relics. I love it. So that's going to be um, 80. I think it's 80 gold to pop for relics. Relics did get nerfed, which was kind of a nerf to HRE and FFA as well, actually, now that I think about it. But um, yeah, they are uh, they're going to be ready, man. It's time. Counterweight trebuchets are here. They are all up in Uravity's base. Uravity is in some serious danger. His also his backfield is being harried. I think this is going to be the end of Uravity. He just got caught with a really poor timing. Um, he was attacking English pretty heavily, losing forces too. And then nobody, nobody touched Green. Because, you know, Green would have been somebody that I maybe fought. But, um, you know, with me being taken out of the game relatively early, Uravity uh, surrendered and is gone. So, three players gone already. Looks like uh, one, chi two Chinese, the, both the Chinese players are gone from the game. So, what that leads me to think is that we're going to be seeing some very tyrannical English. Up on the high ground, though, we do see Roos building Spaskaya Tower here, which is a masterful play. Clearly, this this guy won the last tournament. And the guy who killed me, I think he won the last tournament, too. Um, he is preemptively setting up for a King of the Hill victory. He's banking a ton of stone. Let's look at his resources right now. Uh, not a whole lot, but obviously, he's going to be setting up all the archery ranges and uh, stables. So probably going to be going for knights in tandem with crossbows or horse archers and knights, some sort of a composition like that. And now the Roos and the English are going to be going fisticuffs. We do see a very, very nice high trade house in the corner. Could be generating 300 gold a minute. Uh, still some relics in the base. He actually has a relic he hasn't taken here. So one of my prelates is holding that relic, which means that um, <laughs> it's not like showing up on the map, I don't think, which is pretty funny. Yeah, this is a wild one, man. Very crazy FFA. And, you know, Uravity and I both had really good positions, actually. 
But, um, you know, I wasn't expecting the early aggression. Certainly caught me uh, with my guard down. And, uh, you know, Gravity got caught with a really poor timing with um, attacking up here. And look at this. The, tu the tuna is back. Angelic tuna is back in business. Setting up those farms, getting that eco going. It's got to feel pretty good, man. So Roos raiding into the English base, very good stuff. You know, one of the only ways to beat England in a sustained fight is to raid their economies. In my experience, if you try and just take them head on, you're typically going to lose. But if you're able to kind of raid their eco, shut down their farms and all that sort of... I mean, that goes for anyone, any civilization, but really, really, that applies heavily, heavily to uh, England. So, All right, guys. Continuing to raid here. The Roos getting a little bit of damage. I wonder what Blue's going to do next. Blue actually going to be going for the kill on England. Come on, England. <laughs> Score some goals. So the counterweight trebuchets are coming down. And what are they doing? They're knocking down the green towers. And it uh, looks like the Rooster are continuing to get some decent rating. Currently looking at the eco of Antoxa. Not really affected. He still has 94 eco and a really, really big military. So this English player is not going to be easy to deal with. In the meantime, Nelosi just kind of chilling up in the corner. And like I said, Nelosi is really uh, the style I've seen from Nelosi over the ages is really, really solid defensive play with, like, you know, wonders and counter-punching. Kind of like a, like a Muhammad Ali type, right? Like, this Roos player is kind of like more like a Joe Frazier, more like uh, like uh, uh, Deontay Wilder, Wilder just coming at you, swinging. You know, Nelosi's going to be on the ropes, kind of doing the rope-a-dope and, you know, counter-punching and building wonders and all that kind of stuff. That's really kind of the most apt analogy I can, uh, I can think of, so... All right, so Bruce are sieging. They have good forward infrastructure too. We got knights coming out. They're taking all the high ground resources. Nelosi able to get a stone node here, which is really good. I think Nelosi is just going to go for a wonder in the back. Would be my um, would be my guess. Once a couple more players die, I think that's what's going to happen. But now we have England versus Roos, which I think if they're played equally well, I think England will always defeat Roos in Imperial Age. Like assuming like the dynamics of their economies, map position are equal, it's it's usually going to be favoring England. Like, usually going to be favoring uh, favoring those guys. Because the men-at-arms, the hand cannoneers, the attack speed, the infinite gold. I mean, they gold, they grow gold from their crops, which is very, very overpowered. So, it's, it's, England in 1v1 is crazy strong, too. I feel like it's it's really easy to climb ladder with England, for sure. Who is Rocky Balboa? That is the big question here. Rocky Balboa is, is, is the Angelic Tuna. Angelic Tuna just getting absolutely smashed in round one by, uh, you know, Apollo Creed. But he's going to be back. And, uh, you know... Apollo Creed over here is you know went down. He was he was he was finished and uh, Rocky Balboa here, the angelic tuna is uh, is still standing right. So they continue to fight. We see the old hand cannoneer shooting away. The men at arms tanking. Hand cannoneers absolutely plowing the Bruce army. Knights are you know knights are okay against men at arms. They certainly outtrade them. But um, the English hand cannoneers are just going to give them the dirty. You can see the Chelsea of course, which are a very good unit, are going to be pushed back. And England wins the fight pretty decisively. And if England really wants to, they could for sure uproot the roost from the high ground. The question is, do they know that they're up there? We see the English trebuchets coming out. We do see outposts being built. Um, as far as aggression here, we do have a little bit of a conflict between the roost and the English. But again, we've seen this unfold. The English will typically win those trades simply because of the efficacy of their longbows, the attack speed buffs. I don't see Orange having any glimmer of hope of uh, trying to take down Nelosi. Now, what the MLG play would be is building a market right here and trading with the fallen Chinese marketplace. It's not a super long trade. Probably would give you 80 to 100 gold. So honestly, if he's able to kind of discover that in the late game, I think that uh, Claire here, uh, or Claret, I'm not sure, Claret Ice or something like that, is uh, going to be able to come over here and get some good trading. So we'll see. But now we have a big duel of fates. We have the English versus the Rus. The Rus have a, an amazing economy. They have a lot of eco. They're getting their key upgrades. It looks like they do have the... Uh, what is that? What upgrade is that? I can't remember. But the biology, yes. For the horsemen, going to be pushing into the English army, but England is just going to be saturating out, bo building forward infrastructure as well. Here they come. Barracks, barracks, archery ranges, and many, many uh, English forces. As Rus are slowly starting to lose ground, which is very much the tail of the tape against England. You're going to need to do some like weird Ramstein action, like get the Duhast and knock down the wall here and maybe get into the back and start raiding. Because if you just, again, take a lane fight, England is like the king of MOBA games. If you just fight them in the lanes, they're going to win. But, um, you know, you got you to gotta get the back door in there or else they're just going to cackle. Roos are getting their goods. And Roos do have good gold per minute. I mean, between all these hunting cabins around the map that are, um, you know, gathering. I mean, these ones aren't, obviously. But hunting cabins. Hunting cabin here. Uh, the high trade house. He's probably getting, like, seven or 800 gold a minute from those, which is very, very good. I mean, that's pretty much the same as, like... Uh, as like a Malian economy, like Malians with their ore pits, I think average like five or six hundred a minute, depending on the size of the ore nodes. But yeah, England is just is too much, man. They're they're just going to probably push back 
the Roos back to the Shadow Realm here. I, I don't see um, the Roos dying right now. I think that would be a bit of an... Oh, maybe. You know what? Maybe because England actually went for went for the um, the kill here, right? So now it's just them and the Roos. And if England... If Antoxa kills the Roos, there's going to be nothing to threaten Antoxa down here. Like, yeah, like sure, Pink is here, but Pink is basically in the Stone Age still. Just getting back up into the game, going Imperial. Uh, does have triple TC, which is a very, very good call, and four relics, but I don't know about the skill level of this player. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to kind of hang with the Conqueror level English player, which is going to be very, very tough. As we see the English Hand Cannoneers and the Trebuchet Legion moving up, the Roos are going to be pushed off the middle, and it's slowly just a downward spiral here, which is, uh, which is a great album by Nine Inch Nails as well. But the Elite Men at Arms cutting through these units. English Trebs getting in position. They have the attack speed buffs. And the Roos are kind of trickling out some units, a little bit of the dreaded Reaganomics, but um, I don't know if it's going to work out. As, uh, yeah, man, they have a lot, but England is England. England is very scary. They want the high ground. That's probably what I would honestly do. If I was England, um, I would probably tr to, like put everything into Killing Blue right now, which I think is going to work, assuming the Micro's on point, the decision making's on point. And then you just take the Sacred Sight up in the top middle, and then just say, come at me, the, the, rest, of, the rest of you guys. Nelosi seems to be in combat with the Roos, and it seems like Nelosi is winning the fight. The Roos have been pushed back to the base, but Nelosi doesn't want to commit, which makes sense. There's a keep here. It's it's somewhat entrenched. High Trade House, not in the craziest position. It looks like it's... Uh, yeah, Roos are good on this map. One of the first times I saw it was with um, Zlami, actually. Zlami played in one of our FFA events a long time ago, like much closer to launch, and had like a four or 500 gold High Trade House on the edge of the map, just getting you all sorts of good stuff. So Here they come. Elite Knights getting in there. Somebody in chat asking what civs give England a run for their money. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think anybody really can, honestly. In, in this type of a situation, you can outplay the English player and like take their eco out and really outmaneuver them and like snipe their stuff and just play better to beat them. But if assuming you just have two bots playing against each other, doing the exact same kind of like, you know, it's gonna England is typically gonna win late game every single time. China can compete with late game. Like Nesta B spam, Palace Guard, like you know, Grenadiers, Hand Cannoneers, like they can definitely steamroll English armies a little bit, but not always even. Like Longbows counter a lot of those units that I just mentioned too. So the wall is up. England uh, preparing to push the middle. That will mean the end of one of the Roost landmarks. The Roost have mustered a nice cavalry army, but I don't know what that's going to do against the Hand Cannoneers and Minute Arms. And uh, we're not seeing any spears coming out for England, so that's not going to be the case. Hey, didn't England have their World Cup game today? Versus France? Yeah, the, the big the big rivalry show down there. How'd that game go, by the way? Did anybody watch it? I'm always interested to kind of follow those big, uh, big thematic duels. Over here, we do see the uh, English taking gold off the map, which even though they don't need it too much, they can still just take it away from the other players and starve everyone out. This English player, Rocky Balboa, Angelic Tuna, is still online. I love that Angelic Tuna lived. That brings me so much joy. No, oh, that's tomorrow? Okay. That's tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to keep tabs on that. Croatia beat Brazil. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, this World Cup's had a lot of uh, upsets. I mean, even Team US, I mean... In general, like in, in the United States, most of our good athletes don't play soccer. <laughs> that I think that's one of the big things. But um, we still managed to get out of the uh, round of 16, which was pretty cool. We actually tied England, I think, which is neat. But um, yeah, it was, it was fun. I, I've been enjoying this uh, this World Cup. It's always it's like once every you know every handful of years. That's when Americans care about soccer or football is when that happens. But yeah, England going to be pushing here. Look at this. Is the English player trying to build like a cage here? Oh, I love it. So England is trying to build palisade walls around their trebuchet so they can just slow push here and then the cavalry aren't going to be able to move in there. Oh my god. That's pretty wild, man. That's pretty wild. Some more trebuchets bombarding from downtown. We do see horsemen coming in. And hand cannoneers and men-at-arms all day. It's going to be the army comp. You can see these English men-at-arms, these thick lads. They've been eating their, uh, their English breakfast, their bangers and mash. They're holding on like champs. And dude, I love this strategy. I love it. Look how cool this is. Oh, it's so rad. He sets up his like little helms deep and now like the roost just can't stop it. The trebs are just gonna sit here. I got so excited my voice cracked. That just brings me joy. Nelosi, absolutely chilling. Just having a little bit of a border skirmish with the roost here. Uh, we have our boy here, Rocky Balboa, the angelic tuna. What if the angelic tuna comes back? What if the angelic tuna just rises from the seas? Just a giant, massive, angry tuna and just claims victory. That would be so great. 
All right, so we got more Trebs going downtown. And the Roos are going to get pushed off the hill for sure. Look at this. Claret Ice, or Claire, Claire Ice. We're just going to call him Claire. Claire is stealing the resources from the Roos right from under their nose while they're busy with the English. And now the Roos are going to be getting into a little bit of periphery raiding, which is very good. That's what you want to be doing. But England does have cannon towers here. They're going to be chilling. We'll see how it goes. But the England-France games have been... They're going to do 1v1s in Age of Empires. Yeah, they should do that. I would say that England in Age of Empires is favored against France, like in a 1v1. Like, England England literally start with hard, hardened spearmen and feudal. So if, like, France want to get aggressive with knights, England doesn't even have to pay to upgrade their spearmen. Uh, their villagers have bows to defend themselves. On top of that, the... Um, Oh, look at that reaction, man. He just, like, builds that gatehouse as soon as he sees that his hand cannoneers need to get away. Also, English longbows trade very well into arbalists. Even with their little pavises, the shields, like, typically it's a little bit harder to micro this guy, so... We will have to see! So, the Bruce versus the English here. The English uh, melee trebuchets in the Game of Thrones tactics. Going to be fending off the White Walkers, but you can see the English army here is just absolutely crushing through these horsemen. And uh, the Roos aren't able to kind of get into the flanks to get on top of the trebuchets, which is hilarious, dude. I love this little English gatehouse. This is this is the most glorious strategy we've seen in quite some time. When's the next Total War Warhammer stream? Tomorrow. We're going to be streaming a Total War Warhammer tournament tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, my friends. But yeah, once again, the push continues. Trebuchets uh, potentially going to be taken out by Springhalds. Roos trying to get some uh, tech to deal with that. They seem to be struggling to deal with the elite men-at-arms as they just are just so numerous and heavily armored. English men-at-arms, they have plus two armor. So they're very, very tanky with the battle-clad. Springald's going to be taking the high ground, and it looks like the English going to be fleeing their trebuchets away to get out of range. He does scout those. Those two hand cannoneers up there are able to see that. And I have to say, I'm very impressed by the Roost player. I mean, it is not easy to fend off an English player like this. And this Roost player's micro is very good. His persistence, his unit management, all that stuff. So um, you're going to keep coming up. Keep's going to be nice. That'll give you a good bastion upon which to stand. Could have been built a little bit more forward. Maybe like right here, I think, would have been better. But even still, it's not the end of the world. As up in the north, the Angelic Tuna, dude! Respect the Tuna! He's getting strong. Building a lot of stables, building a lot of infrastructure. Milosi just in Mortal Kombat over here, guys. Absolute Mortal Kombat. Is the Warhammer World Championship still happening? Yes. The grand finals for that are going to be, uh, I think, like, 15, 16, 17. So, yeah, like, in a, a little over a week, basically. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be casting that, so stay tuned. So Elite Longbows doing the jam. Men at arms shooting in there. We do have a lot of DPS coming out from the Losi's archers. Looks like we just have two Mortal Kombats. The Roos and the English players are just kind of duking it out. I would certainly like to see at least at least one Roos player win the fight, so we don't have to watch an English mirror match. Granted, I think the English mirror match would probably be won by Antoxa simply because he has the high ground and he has the sacred site. And uh, I don't think either English player would really be able to make good uh, momentum against the other one. But it looks like England is slowly getting a little bit of momentum here. I don't know. This Roost player is macroing very well. Is he trading? Is he? Where is he getting his gold from? He's got hunting cabins. Uh, more archery ranges coming up. The high trade house is doing its thing. Let's look at the bank for these players. So yeah, uh, Claire is going to be running out of gold soon. Um, Nilosi has a very nice golden food bank, which is why England usually wins. And the Roost player here banking a lot of gold, whereas the um, Intoxa, not so much. So the uh, English player here running a little bit light on gold, but I think that's mainly because he's spending it so quickly. We see a couple of these uh, mangonels getting brought down here as the English men at arms do surge over here, able to cut down some of the Streltsy. And they could honestly start running into the Roost base, but the Roost base is so vast, it's like kind of hard to tell where everything is. He's so spread out. He's got like just random ass farms all over. He's got relics down here. I guess the Roost player took the relics that, you know, I was able to kind of scavenge early. So he's doing pretty good. I think the relics are probably what's keeping him in the, uh, in the game here. So English still moving. Not able to take the Roos off the high ground, man. The Roos are pushing back this past guy tower, and we do see the trebuchets coming in for the Roos. Probably going to be able to uproot this English keep. I'm surprised we're not seeing Spearmen for England, because it's just a Streltsy Horseman Knight comp. So Spearmen would be, actually be a feasible option against all those unit types. He's actually just spamming out Horsemen, which, you know, aren't, aren't going to do bad. I guess Horsemen are really good for their utility of diving artillery. We see a couple of Horsemen getting in here. This past guy tower probably going to peel, but might be able to kill one of the trebuchets in the process. Looks like he's going for the spring alts, and more horsemen are coming up to dive as well. So horsemen looking to find their way up, but the Spaskaya Tower holding on like a champ. Okay, I have no idea what's going on here. So, um, yeah, it's a bunch of monks, dude. And they're just running to the middle for some reason. I have no idea what they're trying to do. Oh my god, is he going to take the sacred site? The dreaded tuna! And Toha? Okay. 
and Toha. Got it. Thank you. So here comes the monks. They will be grabbing it for uh, England, James. Getting shot, bolts to the face while they take the sacred site. You know, the angelic tuna going for the sacred victory under pressure. I really like it. I think this is a very ballsy play. It certainly uh, sets a precedent, establishes dominance. He needs to check for a trade too. I'm sure your Abity has a marketplace. Let's see. Uh, does your Abity have a marketplace? It does not look like it. Looks like the market was either destroyed or it's non-existent. Now, is he gonna get the sacred site? The dreaded English uh, sacred victory. All right, flee the scene. All right, where are the battle popes going? It looks like they're running down. All right, guys, the sacred site belongs to the angelic tuna. If he holds that for 10 minutes, he wins the game. How funny would it be if nobody noticed that and he just straight up wins? That would be the funniest shit ever. Like, I don't think there's any chance of that happening, but I think that would be truly masterful for sure. Yeah, this is a scrappy ass game, dude. I don't know, I feel like this one's gonna go for hours. Um, I do think that Nelosi might go for a wonder at some point. Although, yeah, good resource bank, but not a lot of stone, which is a little bit tight. Looks like this Roost player has kind of been pushed back a little bit. I think, oh my God, I think the orange Roost player, guys, I think the orange Roost player stopped attacking Nelosi because of the sacred site. Like he thinks that somebody is actually trying to win with the sacred site in the middle. So him and Nelosi probably had a, a like a peace agreement there where they're just like, okay, we need to deal with this. Oh my God, look at the plays from the angelic tuna. He just baited, he just baited them into attacking the Roos. Maybe that was his plan all along. It was like the big multi-layered scheme, or as the kiddos would say these days, the big brain play. The humongous uh, frontal lobe place. I think that's a little bit, a little bit better. Guys, that sacred site's still going. It's happening. Nelosi's gonna be backstabbing the roost now. Okay, I like this. I like that they know that the Conqueror players down here are more of a threat, and the, the haggard lords of Bronzodia rise up. I don't think I've ever seen a more Bronzodia play, I know. It's just truly amazing. But the Roost player's in danger now. He's being attacked by Nelosi, losing keeps, gonna be getting pressured. I mean, TC's taking damage here. The Roost trying to build a panic keep here, but Nelosi's gonna be coming in with a ton of men-at-arms and should be able to kind of counteract that pretty, uh, pretty easy there. That was the most Palpatine play ever, and he still has it. But he made the other two players think that this was a big issue here, right? And now they're all confused. They're like, wait a second, what the hell's going on here? Oh my God, this is wild. So the Roos are pulling back, which is gonna be giving English, uh, you know, a little bit of breathing room to move up. And the high ground is probably gonna be taken out. As you can see, the orange Roos player gonna be coming down from the north here. Gravity says, I'm still in game so I can relay chat. Yeah, you're Avity. What, you, give us an update, brother. Give us the chat. You gotta tell us what's going on. So here comes more elite knights and the Roos basically just have some men at arms or excuse me, some horse, horse at arms, <laughs> some horsemen here that Nelosi should be able to easily dispatch. He's just gonna cut through those like butter. And this Roost player's in serious danger. He's being collapsed on by several people, all because the dreaded Angelic Tuna took the sacred site and like tricked everybody into thinking he was the nemesis, right? That is the funniest shit ever. How south, I, I, you know, this is vengeance for me. I got absolutely bum rushed by this guy. I wasn't expecting it. So this this is a little bit of a, you know, the Lords of Bronzodia are, are rising up to defend their brother in arms. <laughs> As we get more trebuchets coming in, probably going to be knocking down the hunting cabins. There they go. Going to be disrupting the farm economy for the Roos. And are the English going to put the pressure on the Roos is the question. Doesn't look like it. And it looks like Orange is coming over to attack as well. Um, I don't know if Nelosi will be able to single-handedly kill the Roos player. Simply because I don't think Nelosi has the supply lines, maybe. We'll have to see. Like, these trebuchets are all going to die right now. Most likely. This Roos player is going to be able to micro back here. Um, the Streltsy are... There's a lot of Streltsy here. So very, very good hold here by... Uh, but Anitan, he's able to uh, he's able to do his thing. More knights coming in. English men at arms trying to peel, but the trebuchets are being chased down. And the angelic tuna, he's got some knights on the sacred site. He's going for the W, baby. Oh my God, the angelic tuna, he's coming to get he's coming to defend his sacred site. Look, oh my God, look at that. Here he comes. So we get the knights attacking into the orange horse archers. Trebuchet is setting up here. The Roost do have a little bit of a tower action there, but yeah, oh my god. The Angelic Tuna going for the, the Sacred. Wouldn't it be so funny if he won that way? Like, nobody is taking it seriously and he just gets the W. That would just be the most ridiculous thing ever. So Red's going to be pulling back. The Roost obviously took their beating, but they're still very much alive. Uh, looking at the score here, you know, Anna, Anna, uh, Anna Tand is uh, he's in, he's in good shape. He's good. He bought peace from Nelosi with a relic, yeah. 
Yeah, I suppose so. Dude, what if what if Pink just randomly wins this? Like, does he have reinforcements coming? Okay, he's got men at arms on his way up. If Pink, okay, guys, if Pink were to come up here right now and build like three keeps on this shit and just go bananas, like there is a very slim chance he could win it because nobody is taking this seriously. Like everybody just thinks it's like somebody else is gonna handle it. Like nobody's defending it. I wonder, man. I wonder. So Trebuchet is heading up to the high ground. He does have some uh, trickling in reinforcements here as Nolosi looks to be moving over to the middle of the map. And the Roost player is trying desperately to shut it down, but the English army is holding pretty firm, even without good reinforcements. You know, Horse Archers uh, not going to be... Yeah, they'll be okay against some of these units, I guess. They don't have, like, the craziest, uh, you know, anti-heavy, anti-armor capabilities, but... Here we do see the counterweight. Trebuchet is trying to knock down the infrastructure here of blue. Not that blue is going to be using said infrastructure, but I don't see Pink being able to hold this. His supply lines just aren't good enough. He doesn't have enough troops coming out, and... Uh, yeah, the paradigm shift of this battle has uh, certainly changed. Things are getting real crazy, man. He still has the sacred site. I mean, is anybody gonna... When did he get this? Did anybody actually... I wish we could see the sacred tracker in action. Like, there really should be a timer. I'm really, really shocked that we haven't seen that added by uh, Relic. Maybe it's added in their new caster UI, which unfortunately isn't for, uh, for multiplayer games. So, like... Yeah, we have a big English army here that could easily, easily come uproot the sacred site. We'll have to see. No, I know I'm, a, I know I'm behind the live replay. We'll fast forward a little bit if there's some downtime. That's I'm saving it for that. I'm saving it for that. Other than the relic, nothing else has been happening in chat at the moment. Okay, so there was a relic trade. And now Nolosi's, no, Nolosi's like getting a little bit nervous. Coming up here like, all right, man. We got to put an end to these shenanigans. It's, it was fun while it lasted, but the sacred site is now going to be decapped. And uh, that will be uh, that'll be it for uh, the Tuna's Sacred Site play. It was probably relatively close, probably like three or four minutes away actually, which is pretty crazy. We see the uh, Green English moving up as well. And now we can do a little bit of fast forwarding and catch up to the current live state of the game as the Sacred Site is decapped. I love King of the Hill. I think King of the Hill is my favorite FFA map. There's just always that threat and always these epic battles up in the middle of the map, and uh, it's great. So Orange moving up. Nelosi could easily steamroll this army if he wants to, probably. Uh, English men at arms are just very meaty. They can dive artillery. That's one of the reasons why it's so tough to kill England, because they can dive artillery so effectively with their armored boys. And it looks like that uh, Rus army is going to be pushed back to the Shadow Realm. In the meantime, uh, Green is probably going to be taking over the high ground. Yeah, we got outposts coming up, so England uh, it is going to be, and Toha is going to be grabbing the high ground here. Going to be sitting quite comfortable, and we'll see how this goes. So once again, the old blood feuds have been reignited. We do see red fighting orange. Nelosi going to be pouring out a lot of units, moving in, trying to take out the uh, the Roost player here. Might have an opportunity to do so with really, really good aggression. Looks like there is a loose relic sitting here. Surprised nobody has kind of grabbed that, but it would give you 80 gold a minute. And we're just currently catching up to the live gameplay. So we're about five minutes behind, guys, and we'll be there soon. So the Angelic Tuna just building up an army, just chilling, banking resources, sitting on, you know, four or five relics here, which is very, very good. And here we do see, uh, yeah, green just comfortably up on the high ground. Roos, you know, Spaskai Tower is going to be offline for a while. It looks like the Roos actually going to be taking the, the war to England. So they're moving across. England's going to be gathering its forces, preparing to meet the Roos army head on. As we do get a couple men at arms coming down from the high ground, not diving the artillery quite quite right. Yeah, it looks like they get in there a little bit. Streltsy doing very good, though. Streltsy are just nasty. They, they're definitely a good counter against men at arms. But Streltsy themselves get hard countered pretty heavily by uh, English Longbowmen. English Longbowmen just take them apart. And you can see the much more expensive Streltsy unit is getting out traded very, very heavily by these uh, these legendary English Longbowmen. So England going for a sacred victory. Uh, they do grab it, which is interesting. Uh, I don't know if I would have grabbed that. That's going to kind of unite people against you and kind of make people think you're trying to end the game. Here we do have a little bit of a duel as Red and Orange continue to just bang their heads together as... Uh, the English here able to really, really dispatch the Roos army. Roos actually forced back to their base with what strategy they have left. And England is going to keep moving forward its infrastructure while using their trebuchets to knock down some of the walls here and the keeps. And this Roos keep is going to be paying the price. We're almost live. We're only a couple minutes away here. As the dreaded Angelic Tuna, he emerges from his base. And he is going to be grabbing the sacred site. So there he goes. The sacred site will be uh, belonging to no one. It's going to be decapped. Probably a good thing for, honestly, for Green, because that, that will take the target off his back and allow him to focus on the Roos one-on-one, -on -one, which is probably, honestly, what he wants. The Roos army is looking a little bit worn down. So if we look at the comparative resources, and Toha is sitting very, very comfortable with 8,000 gold, and Anatand is sitting at 10,000 gold. Uh, so yeah, he's clearly the relics that he stole in the beginning and uh, in conjunction with the uh, trying to rebuild the walls there. 
in conjunction with the uh, the high trade house and the hunting cabins, he's getting a lot of gold per minute. Let's look at the gold per minute of all the players right now and take a little bit of an assessment. So the rooster is sitting at 1,800 gold a minute, which is really good. Yeah, so he's he's not in any danger. He can definitely trade with the English all day until he runs out of gold. That's when English usually wins, is when you, you out-gold everybody, right? So Bruce Knight's trying their best to fight, but going to be dragged down by the morass of English bodies. And we do see the English Longbowmen starting to tee off as Spring Alts get in range and are able to pick off one of these bad boys. And up in the north, we have the same exact same thing happening. We basically have the uh, the Bruce and the English having a little bit of a civil war here. Where, uh, well, not civil war, that's not the wrong term. War of attrition is what I meant to say. And man, Anatan is a really, really strong player. I mean, trading into late game English armies and getting momentum and pushing them back is not an easy feat. But it looks like he is able to get the job done here and uh, pushes back the English army for now. But how will his gold maintain? He's already spent 5,000 gold since the conflict started just now. And in Toha is uh, obviously, yeah, but he's got the farms. He's just spamming out men at arms and horsemen. But those Streltsy are getting a, a critical mass where they just like pound down the English front line pretty heavily. And men at arms aren't very good against the Roost Knights. The elite knights are uh, very, very tough, especially the Roost ones because they have the Boyar's Fortitude and the Night Sabers. So their sustained damage in melee is actually quite good. Losi getting a little bit of momentum, actually knocking down the keeps, and this is a really scary feeling. How English players can really close the game out is they can move keeps up as they pressure you, but the Bruce player here actually has some bombard, so it's not like he's ill-equipped to deal with this. We see elite horse archers coming out. Horse archers are okay against these type of units, but generally speaking, they're not going to have enough DPS to really effectively get through the men at arms. And it looks like Nelosi is going to be putting the final nail in the coffin here, maybe, as the Roost player is being pushed back into his base very, very heavily, and now we're only a couple seconds away from the battle. And, uh, yeah, the English hand cannon here is just blasting through. They don't even have their attack speed. Nelosi needs to be building towers because his entire army would get a massive DPS spike if he did that, right? We've got English men at arms chasing this down here. Uh, meanwhile, we have a little bit of a standstill here as we're one minute from the live state of the game. One minute from the live state, and then we will uh, be casting as normal. Just want to get you guys right up to the live action so that our glorious friend Uravity here in chat can... Uh, let us know the commentary and let us know what's actually happening in the old game. Hand cannoneers shooting away, ladies and gentlemen. Just about caught up. The Roost starting to lose some serious infrastructure. Looks like their town center in danger. Golden Gate here as well. The Roost are macroing well, but so too are the English as they have a lot of men at arms and they actually built forward infrastructure, but they really need to get towers here to get the network of castles. 50% attack speed on your units is just uh, obscene. These trades would be so much more effective. The longbow DPS would be better. Like everything would just be way better, right? All right, guys, we're in the live game, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. A little bit of raid going down here, but the Roos were very ready for it. Look at that, the haggard uh, English raid, and there's just a bunch of Roos knights like waiting in the bushes. And England uh, building stone walls, taking over the middle of the map. Not going to be going for This is way too dangerous for a sacred victory. There, like, if there's two other opponents, I think if you're playing England, you could probably feasibly hold them off with a really good entrenched position with like keeps and everything, but otherwise it's going to be very tough. So High Armory is down, Town Center's in trouble, Golden Gate is here, and his last landmark is... Where is his last landmark? The High Trade House here. So that's pretty safe back there. I think it's going to take time. I think it's going to take time. <laughs> Lower the ammunition on long goes, yeah, no. I, I don't know. I don't know what you change with England, honestly. I, I haven't been playing enough to really give you guys, like, solid insight. I mean, I've been playing 1v1 mainly with Malians, and dude, Malians are awesome in 1v1. The, the Farimba Garrison is such a good landmark. It's so good. Yeah, but Roost getting pushed back. Nelosi starting to build towers, so this is really going to be changing the dynamic of these fights. Trebuchets with 50% attack speed is really gross DPS with shattering projectiles. And, of course, the English longbows now getting 50% attack speed. Uh, they will just massively out DPS like all the different Roost troops here. So we will see. A little bit of raiding going down. We do have an English raid as they're trying to get into the uh, to the enemy territory here. So here they come. And uh, yeah, getting a little bit of work in there. I just At least occupying a substantial portion of the Roost army. And England just kind of slow pushing, just knocking down walls, you know, forcing the Roost to kind of spend stone. But I think Nelosi is going to seal the deal here. I think it's only a matter of time. And then there's going to be four players. I think there's going to be only four players left. As the Angelic Tuna, dude, I mean, I love what Angelic Tuna is doing. Angelic Tuna has enough to build a wonder. This is just so awesome. So you just like mine this out. Yeah, yeah, like you could totally go back here. Just build a wonder back here. And you're, you're, you're. So the Tuna is probably just going to wait for, like, there would only be two other players left, and then it's going to go Wonder. Or the Tuna could go for a Counter Wonder. So Tuna could just basically um, wait for somebody to build a Wonder and then build a Counter Wonder behind it and just, you know, and just roll with it. And just roll with it. Bill, turn to the man. I just got my PC in the mail yesterday and downloaded AOE4. Hey, get in, the, get in on the fun, man. Join our Discord, Bill. And uh, 
Yeah, come have some fun. It's going to be a good time, man. We got Gunhound running all these events. And Longbow's moving in. Elite Longbowman going to be dropping some shots. Getting a little bit of DAC in there as they do drag down the Roos units. Roos really, really running out of steam. Nelosi to capitalizing on the strengths of England. Moving up, and we do have England starting to gather some stone up in the high ground while they just are sitting up in the walls and uh, trolling. Knocking down Roos infrastructure, knocking down walls, making it so they can get in whenever they want to. And the Roos Knights and the Roos Streltsy Corps look like they're going to be moving up to try and intercept this push. But yeah, you're not going to have a good time when England's up in the walls. I mean, could do a split push, but England actually has multiple layers of stone walls here. This is really good. What I'd really like to see, I think the most MLG play ever would be a Roos uh, Lumberjack attack. So they come here, they, they lumberjack all the way through, and then they just run into the English base with like 50 knights and just absolutely cause havoc. I think that would be probably how the Roos wins the game, to be honest, or wins against England. Because they could, like with like 50 knights, they could kill one, two, three, and four. Yeah, they could straight up kill England before England could react. If England's army's over here, that would just be dead in the water. But um, it, it's hard to think of those kind of things when you, you don't have the full vision of the map, right? So English Longbow is still just generating fat DPS. The is going to be uh, sending in more men-at-arms as the trebuchet is slowly knocking down the town center here. So that's going to be taking out the villager production, which is going to certainly make them pay the troll toll. Look at this. Team England joining up. Here they come. Torching down the Palisades here. It's going to be pretty rough for uh, Orange here. Gravity, what's going on with this man? You're in game. You're our, our, our eyes and ears. What, are the, what is the politics of the Angelic Tuna going after uh, going after Orange? Is it the fact that maybe Orange had attacked him earlier? Pink is planning to help Red in chat. Interesting. So Team England is kind of gathering up. I'm curious why they're going after Orange. I, I don't know if Orange is one of the Conqueror players. I'm not sure. Could be. Nice little dive back here, getting a couple horsemen units to go after the trebuchets, but England should be able to peel them off pretty well. England does also have their towers here. If they could turn these into cannon towers, that would really blunt the counter momentum of the Roos, I would say. England just like with huge border pressure on the Roos, like slowly uprooting their border defenses. The Roos, of course, uh, you know, pretty happy to just chill out. Let's look at the income per minute, or the current resources, I should say. So looking, Angelic Tuna is hands down the richest. 95,000, 26, 15, and 7. Anatand at 5, and Toha is sitting at 10,000 gold, and Nelosi is really, really sparse on gold, but can easily keep producing longbows for sure. Obviously, producing big militaries like this isn't going to be cheap, and wow, look at this, guys! Orange asked why he's helping an English player, and he responded, I'm English as well. Okay, so we have a little bit of an English alliance going down here, as they want, they, want, they want to bring home the trophy for England. They want to score some goals. And uh, here comes the big army here. And the Bruce player defending very valiantly. Very, very valiantly. But, I mean, uh, you know, getting sandwiched by two English players pretty much is death. Although Nelosi, for some reason, has kind of taken his pedal off the foot here. Kind of, you know, sitting back a little bit. And it uh, looks like the pink army is going to be dispatched. So, I don't think that um, Angelic Tuna's supply lines are very good. I don't think he's macroing reinforcements well to try and actually finish the Roos. We will have to see. So, Nelosi, once again, going to be knocking down keeps. So, the Roos keeps are going to be paying the price. Nobody going for anything in the middle. We do see uh, Entoha is going to be gathering a ton of resources here. Stone can easily build a couple keeps. And over on the other side, we do have Streltsy and Elite Knights kind of hanging out, kind of doing their jams. So once again, the battle is on. The Hundred Years' War between the Rus and the English. The English moving in, but the Streltsy and the Horsemen in tandem with the keep back here doing a decent job at kind of holding it down. You see a couple of Horsemen in the back trying to dive. Longbow's, of course, trading well. And overall, it does look like the English army is getting the better of the attrition trading, especially considering that pink is kind of like sending in units and causing some problems here. We'll see. Yeah, you know, I understand the idea of Angelic Tuna killing the Roos here because the Roos are closer to him. And if the Roos are gone, then it's less pressure on his wonder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Dude, if Angelic Tuna wins this, holy shit. Isn't it? I think Angelic Tuna is like Silver League or something, like Silver or Platinum or something. If he came in here and just steel chaired all these Conqueror players, that would be so funny. That would be hilarious. Just with like a Dread Wonder in the back. Oh my god, that would just bring me such joy. You have no idea how happy that would make me. Orange has reached a truce with Pink for now. Okay, so Pink has, uh, you know, made peace with Orange. Orange can now focus his efforts. Dude, I love the play by plays from your avid here. Just totally saving our butt, giving us so much insight into the game. It's like our play-by-play our, our -play reporter. The Roos have taken the walls as well. They got some Streltsy up here. 
Just a classic war of attrition between the English and Roost player here. It's pretty funny. They're both like really high-level players, so it's just like this, <laughs> this miserable grind. And the Trebs knocking down that keep pretty damn quick. They're going to probably two-shot that thing, if not three-shot. Probably three-shot. It's going to be close. A couple horsemen trying to mitigate some of the pressure. Spears coming in. And the Roost are going to try and shut down the Trebuchets. Trebuchets reloading. Here comes the second volley. And will they two-shot it? Not quite, but it is now on fire. We have a lot of English Spears depending in the back. Roost actually pulling villagers in to try and help torch these, but... Overall, it looks like uh, England is scoring some goals, and uh, they are going to uh, be able to take down this keep, which is going to further their momentum, right? The keeps blunt the pressure, but with that, um, you know, it's a little bit different. Knights being made. Interesting. Elite English Knights. I, I feel like that's... Uh, there are Spearmen in the Roos army. It kind of makes the Spearmen a little bit more viable. You see more shots coming down as these trebuchets are going to be paying the ultimate price. So much for that truce. It looks like the truce is uh, not so strong unless these horsemen are coming to help Orange. Maybe he feels bad? No, okay. I was gonna say, it looked like there was some sort of a peace accord, but I think that was just, that was just straight up a lie. <laughs> oh my God, he's going landmark hunting, guys. Here he comes. Oh dear God. Okay, so that town center's down. Uh, this one's being repaired. Where are the horsemen gonna go now? Okay, they're going for the high trade house. But the Roos army is very much aware of this. So this landmark is destroyed. Oh man, guys. He's repairing it, though. He should be able to repair it in time. I don't think there's enough horsemen to get the job done here. Maybe they're going to do a little bit of work. Maybe get it low. But if Nelosi pressures now, the Roost player is for sure dead. But if Nelosi sits back while this is happening, it might give the Roost player a little bit of breathing room. The truce is broken. Yeah, no kidding, dude. That was a very short-lived truce. And now Nelosi's going to move in. More horsemen coming into raid. Yeah, Orange is for sure dead. Like, he's losing mass amounts of villagers. Looking at his eco. He's playing very well. I'm very impressed with Orange's play, but not going to be enough. These horsemen here are going to be uh, killed off. It looks like the villagers will salvage that landmark. Nelosi is going to keep the momentum in here. It looks like gathering, yeah. Spring alds, uh, no trebs though, interestingly enough, so that's going to be tough. This war seems like it's just been peace here. Seems like it's all calm. They, uh, yeah, we got Strelsey here, Lead Knights, various units. Yeah, kind of just haggard trebuchet wars. Just knocking down these walls and progressively draining the resources of one another. As the Roost coming back to defend, dude, I am really impressed with Orange's play. Orange is being like 2v1 and trolled. Pink is Pink telling him where his last landmark is, telling Nelosi. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Nelosi is now moving towards it with a lot of men at arms, which are going to be very tough to uproot. Granted, um, the town hall is still not repaired. Neither is the Golden Gate. Looks like there's some villagers coming in as the English Knights continue to fight. And the men at arms are going to be making their way towards that last landmark here, which is at full health at the moment, so it's not going to be super easy to kill. Longbows, uh, of course, putting some decent firepower into the Bruce army. Men at arms tanking a lot of the longbows, but we will see. Pink is gathering a horseman legion once again. The true Palpatine, dude. Yeah, orange is orange is getting hammered. There's a little bit of fighting going on here. The two Conqueror players are like locked in the Thunderdome together, which is pretty hilarious. Strelzi are obviously superior to hand cannoneers. They have the static defense ability essentially when they're shooting. They get attack speed after remaining stationary for 10 seconds, but um, I think they're also cheaper than hand cannoneers, and they do the same thing. I think that's the advantage that the Roos have, but I really do like this Roos army comp. I feel like it's pretty good. Like the elite knights, because it's like the two things that the Roos do very well, right? They're, they're melee sabers and, uh, and the hand cannons, but obviously the English gun line with the attack speed is disgusting. 50% attack speed on hand cannoneers but, uh, automatically just straight up makes them better than Streltsy. Like, you think Streltsy are good? Like, talk English hand cannoneers with network of castles. That's, that's like a whole nother level of power. Dude, how the hell is Orange holding on, man? I guess his eco isn't being disrupted. Like, he's still farming and still has all of his wood infrastructure. It's looking pretty good. And uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. Nelosi with the trebuchet on the far side. Oh, no. And are his... Did he repair his town center? Oh, God. He better get that quick. If he doesn't get this TC up, he could die. And now all the trebs are in position. Oh, man. This is going to be tight. 6,000 HP on this. I think his other landmark has fallen. This Roost player is actually pushing back Nelosi, though. Really impressive, because Nelosi is obviously allocating resources to this. Oh, man, guys. 7.6. 7, 7 Where's his last landmark, by the way? Is that his last landmark? It might very well be. All right, so here it comes. More Bombards. Oh, 52 HP. Is he going to get the repair off? Oh, my God. He was like one second. Oh, no. Dude. What a so unfortunate. He would have been dead anyways because of the horseman, but the timing of that was brutal. 
Dude, what a Chad though. Well played to Clarity Ice. That was the Claret Ice. That was a really good game. I mean, he was obviously being 2v1, which is a smart play for the Tuna. The Tuna needs to use any tools possible to remove other... Oh! Tuna, this might be too early, brother. Tuna, this might be too early. This is greedy as hell. While the Dark Lords are still here, because they're going to stop fighting probably pretty soon, or maybe they're going to have such a hard-on for one another. Man, this is a greedy, greedy Tuna, ladies and gentlemen. He is going for it while there's still three other players in the game. I guess it's a pretty big map. All right, it begins. It begins, ladies and gentlemen. No, all the landmarks had died, yeah. You have you had the um, the high armory here, the golden gate, the town center, and then uh, this thing back here, yeah, the high trade house. Yeah. Wow, the greedy tuna, man. He deleted a lot of villagers there, which means he's gonna be trying to big, build a big army. Um, Angelic tuna has enough to build a ton of towers, too. All right, guys, Angelic tuna sitting here with a big horseman army, gonna be trying to get into Nelosi's base. And um, are the English and Roost player gonna work together? Are they? Question. We'll find out. All right. So the horseman going to be looping back and around. Nelosi going towards blue, which is interesting. I mean, did I miss a wonder somewhere? No, I don't think so. So looking at the wonder tracker, the dreaded angelic tuna is going to be coming in for the victory, maybe. I don't think tuna holds it, though. I, I would be really shocked. Assuming the other players get their shit together and start moving towards the tuna. Okay. I think I know what's maybe going to happen. I think green is maybe going to go, oh, but that's so risky. The sacred is so vulnerable. Well, there's like li literally too many strong players. Guys, I don't think they noticed the landmark, gravity. Green and blue still haven't said a single thing in chat. Losi got, got mega confused. GG guys, how was the ruse? Calum, dude, you were really good at this game, Calum. You were holding off 2v1 versus English. Very well played, dude. I hope to see you back for future tournaments. Yeah, Caleb, it makes sense that they killed, they went after you though, because Tuna was trying to prepare for a wonder. So by teaming up on you, it made his wonder more defensible, basically. So, yeah, well, you played very well, man. I hope to see you back next time, dude. Very impressive play. Clearly a champion. So, what are all these horsemen gonna do? Like, what? What is he doing here? He's gathering like all these horsemen, but like the Tuna needs to be hammering the the artillery here, like to keep Nelosi from getting into the base. Yeah, okay, it looks like the blood feud has ended. Now, they, it looks like they're all heading up north. It looks like they're all heading up north. So here they come. We do have the hand cannoneers and the men at arms on their way. We got a lot of these guys coming in. Elite knights, elite men at arms. The whole crew is here. And what the hell is this pink army doing, dude? This is so weird. Because if his base gets steamrolled, he's just straight up dead, dude. What are the Roos doing? The Roos are pushing back infrastructure, trying to get out of their base. England obviously don't like that because they've been fighting tooth and nail for that ground for a long time. Holy shit. Oh my god. Is this happening? Guys, the Angelic Tuna is going for a backstab on Nelosi's base. Holy shit, while well, this is active. This is so funny, dude. This is actually a pretty good play, in a way. Especially since the other players aren't even reacting. Like, they're, these guys are blood feuding way too hard. There's got to be a sacred play coming in. Okay. Nelosi's going to go for the counter sacred play, which I don't think is going to work out. And we do see um, the Angelic Tuna getting all these buildings here in the corner. Oh my god. We'll see. Here they come. Nelosi's army moving. Obviously very entrenched with walls. Um, not much of a standing army, but... Guys, is this actually happening right now? Is this happening? It's a bait wonder. I know it feels like it. Oh my god. The floodgates are open. Oh dear god. That is a lot of stuff, bro. Nelosi's base is going to have some props. He's got he's got spears, though, so he's going to be able to fight off the horsemen pretty well. Horsemen are probably going to go landmark sniping. Nelosi's probably like, oh my god, what the hell is happening right now? So we got men-at-arms, we got rams coming in. The rams should definitely go after the keep. And Nelosi panic building like a million spearmen, which is a really good call. And uh, the tuna needs to attack this keep. He's like running through the burning oil, just getting cooked. But it looks like he's going to be surging past and going landmark hunting, I would wager. Hard to say, but what are these men at arms gonna do? They should probably just stand and fight. So the blood feud between the Roos, I, I legit think these guys are just too sweaty and neither of them want to concede to the other sweat lord. So they're gonna, they're just gonna fight to the end in the angelic tuna. Okay, Nelosi gets the sacred though. Okay, one landmark's in some danger here. That's gonna be the Wingard Palace. 
The English men at arms and the Ramstein going for this. Nelosi's other landmarks right here. Where? Oh my god, and the King's Palace is here. Holy shit. Could this happen? I don't think so. I think Nelosi defends this, but it's still going to be very scary. So that's down. And now the horsemen going to be heading for the other landmarks. And Nelosi sieging into the base, but the, the tuna is waiting with a, a decent army. He's basically building an army as, uh, as the pressure kind of mounts. So hand cannoneers in the choke. This is going to absolutely dominate Nelosi's army. This is going to be a massacre here. This uh, red army is going to get completely steamrolled. But the Sacred is ahead of the Wanderer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the Wanderer is behind the Sacred site. It's a wild-ass game, dude. And look at that. Another landmark going down. Losi has lost two landmarks, ladies and gentlemen. The TC is being rebuilt. He's going after the last one. I don't think he's going to have the steam. That is 30 horsemen. Dude, Losi's actually close to dying. Oh, my God. And the Rams are still going, too. The Dew Host. If he had had more Rams, maybe. Because this isn't going to repair fast enough. So if this landmark dies... Then that's actually a dead Nelosi. Oh, the Duhast! It looks like it's going to get repaired. Wow! Nelosi barely lives. That was his last landmark, guys. That was his last one. But what was the cost of this? Now, the Tuna has mustered an unholy legion in his back base. Why are these guys... Yeah, I don't know why these two are fighting. Uravity, what are they saying? I don't think Nelosi knows they aren't helping with the Wonder. Yeah. Like, what, 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 is, what do they think is going to happen? Do they just think that, like, don't they want to win? Like, dude, the, the thing about Anton and, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Hoha is that they could attack. They could easily 3v1 the Tuna, I think. Like, easily. If they just unleash their full Conqueror play here, right? And then they both have a chance of winning. But now they are just giving up the game. For a blood feud? I don't know, man. Maybe they didn't notice? Like, they literally haven't said a single thing in chat. Very strange. Like, it must be a blood feud. Neither of these players wants to yield any ground. I think maybe now they're realizing? I don't know. I don't know, man. Look at this. Oh, dear God. It's happening again. It's happening again. Is it? Is this round two fight? I think it might very well be. Because Nelosi is going to move out to help deal with the Wonder, right? And then this shit is just coming into your base and just, just <laughs> Mr. Steal your base over here. There's only two landmarks left, guys. There's only two. Oh my God. Look at this. The Angelic Tuna wants the W, baby. As the Haggard Knight Legion moving in. Yeah, I think, I think, uh, what is, they're, they're shutting down the Sacred Site. Oh, look at that. And the Tuna neutralizes the Sacred Site too. The plays. Now the knights are in the base. They're for sure going to go towards this. And then the king's palace could be endangered. 100%. But we do see a lot of spears in here. So the knights probably aren't going to get the job done. They're going to die to the spears. I think you got to just kill the spears first. Before they get a critical mass. But it looks like, uh, yeah, he's just going for it. It is distracting Nelosi though. It's keeping a lot of the pressure at bay. Do they just not know about the wonder? I wonder, dude. I don't know. Yeah, blue's got some horsemen moving over here now. The wonder is seven minutes away. I straight up don't think they can get it now. Like, it's it's pretty entrenched. It's got a fair amount of cannon towers and a lot of layers of English infrastructure. Not that there's a lot of, like, base entrenchment, but um, it's going to be tough, dude. And the sacred side has been taken. Yeah, I have no idea. So, the TC doesn't go down. The, the knights fail, but they do keep... And it kind of did force Nelosi to make a full ar a spearman army, which he might need to delete now, because it's going to be pretty god-awful here. He's not, like, getting any breathing room to set up infrastructure here. Dude, I can't believe the Angelic Tuna was, like, an inch away from death earlier. He literally had, like, eight villagers and was almost killed by Uravity. But then Uravity got betrayed or backstabbed by Antoha here. And what is what is this? He's literally just, like, shooting at horsemen with trebs. They've got to they've gotta know that they need to go, dude. Oh, my God. So, once again... He's gathering a lot of knights. And Jelatuna has pretty good resources in terms of food and wood. He can make longbows all day. Uh, do not have cannons on everything, but there's a fair amount of cannon towers back here. And is there another wonder I'm missing or something? Does, like, blue have one? Am I crazy? Is this just some ancestral blood feud? Okay, I think they might be trying to go stop the wonder guy now. But look at this. Green is, like, walling him in so he can't go and help. Green, what are you doing? His religious units prayed really hard. Yeah, I guess they did. We saw them earlier and we were joking about them. Nelosi is trying to win this. 
But I think Tuna has got this, dude. The angelic Tuna rose from the ashes like a phoenix to claim victory. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a lot of shit in this base, dude. It's not going to be easy to get into. I like how he's got this like village. He's got these like little villages, like encampments with like farms and everything. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, like green should have like a million buildings here and should just be trebuchet pushing this. Green could have easily killed Angelic Tuna, I think. And now we see the Roost trying to help. Look, the Roost are like at least running by. So, you know, Antonand is doing his best, but Nelosi is building Ramstein, but what the hell is Ramstein going to do against like, you know, how big is Tuna's army? 130 military pop. And green is just sitting here. I don't know. Maybe is green salty for some reason? Is there some salt? Like, I don't know. What's, what is he? Is he just AFK? What's going on here? Hey, man. Teach their own. So the horsemen, uh, yeah, not going to be able to get through the walls. Maybe the Streltsy are going to build some battering rams. I think that's what's happening. I think that's why the horsemen were deleted there. And uh, back in the Roos base. I mean, the Roos are... I feel like the Roos want to help, but they're just too far. Like, they, it's too hard for them. That's what That was what was masterful about killing Orange, is that it took away a lot of the neighbors to um, Blue, to the Tuna. I have no idea, man. Yeah, this is good from Nelosi. Setting up a bunch of these. We see trebuchets coming in from the Roos. They don't have much time, though. Um, four minutes left. I think it's impossible. I think it's impossible. I do not know what Green is doing. I have no idea what he's doing. This is very strange. Very, very strange. Blue uh, has said he's trying to help with the wonder. Yeah, I know Blue is. Blue clearly clearly is trying to win. Like, why would Green not want to win the game, though? That's That's what's perplexing to me. Like, I feel like Green would have a chance of winning if you would kill the Wonder. Because then, if they kill the Wonder of Angelic Tuna, then Tuna is gonna is gone. And then Green has the best position on the map. Like, he's got the Roos sandwiched between Nelosi. Like, I think Green is in a position to win. Okay, so Green is doing a little bit of weird raiding here. It looks like they have a marketplace set up. What the hell? Green is just, like, killing some random villagers? Okay, now this could be an option. If Green were to pull some bills... Okay, and uh, and just lumberjack through here. That's GG for uh, for Angelic Tuna. But I, like, it's weird. Nobody's nobody's doing those kind of plays. So the Dew Host is coming. Yeah, we got a lot of Rams, but these poor uh, these poor English spearmen are going to be basically useless. I mean, they're going to get just mowed down by these longbows. We see the double Ramstein as uh, that is a lot of Rams for sure. The walls do go down, <laughs> and the Dew Host is here. But um, the Dew Host is not going to have a good time. It doesn't have a lot of support. Uh, nobody's coming. Green is just not helping, I don't think. Maybe, okay, green is coming now. Yeah, he's on his way, but a little bit too late there, buddy. A little bit too late. His horsemen are trying to fi find a way in. This would have been the way. Like, building, like, 500 horsemen and just, you know, cutting through the woods here, and the wonder's dead. It's, this wonder is actually very vulnerable in, uh, from a couple angles here. So the ram's not able to find a way. The English army of the, uh, of the dreaded angelic tuna able to fo fend off Nelosi's forces. And now we see trebuchets coming in, trying to knock down walls to give a little bit more surface area. And yeah, now Green is like spamming horsemen. Maybe he didn't notice or something? Like maybe he's just, you know, <laughs> maybe he's had a little bit too much, uh, you know, English beer over there and he's, he's not, not quite aware of what's going on on the map. You see, now they're, uh, you know, the forces are unifying, but you only have two minutes. That was the longest reaction, dude. Green wanted them to take the brunt of the assault. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god, Green, no! Don't attack those! Okay, so are we seeing a little bit of pressure? Will the English army falter? The English army is like literally 3v1ing at the gates. And it looks like some walls over here were deleted. That's interesting. You could easily come through here too and, and get in. And There's like a lot of ways to get into this uh, base here. Wait, what the hell is this? All these walls are being deleted? Whose walls were those? Why? Is, wait, why did he just delete all those walls? Somebody deleted them. Maybe they belong to the other players. Big miscalculation, it would seem. So the Tuna, the Valiant Angelic Tuna is going to be holding back the Dread Legion as he is getting truly zerged. And like, guys, you see how effective they're being with only two minutes left? Imagine if they had started this pressure like five minutes ago, four minutes ago. So Ramsteins are making their way to the back of the base, but with good micro, Angelic Tuna should be able to pull villagers to torch these down, which will mitigate that pressure. We also see cannon towers here. What is he doing? He's deleting the walls. Why? What? What What are you doing? Oh my god. What is the... Is he just flexing? Is Tuna just flexing right now? Is this a meme? He's like actually making himself vulnerable. 
Because there's a fat army coming through of rams. Tuna. What the hell is this, bro? Why would you delete your walls? Did he just delete only... Oh my god, what, why would he delete that? Now Horseman can get on top of the Wonder and shit. I mean, he's probably still going to defend it, but the Rams are going to be right there as well. Oh my god, I think Tuna was trying to flex. I think he was trying to style on these guys, and he might have thrown. There's 20 seconds left, guys. It's very close. I think he's just barely going to hold. <laughs> I think it was a flex. Okay, one Ram makes it. Dude, they're so close. Look how many Rams are coming. Oh my god, why would he do that? That's so dicey, bro. And the Tuna with the steel chair. The silver plays. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Why would they not have attacked him earlier? Hey, it still made for a really good ending. That was still really fun. GG well played, guys. And the biggest underdog in the game, the Angelic Tuna, goes off into the sunset and claims the victory. Check that out. Look at that. Angelic Tuna had a pretty good tech score, actually. Look at the eco. GG well played. The boy who lived. I know. Uravity almost killed him. Like, Uravity was just like, literally had him on death's bed. And then suddenly, you know, he was backstabbed himself. <laughs> that went from flexing the teabag. Oh my god. GG well played, dude. Gotta respect the entertainment factor. I know. 100%, man. Yeah. <laughs> what rank is Tuna? Either Bronzodia or Challenger 40 chess. I don't know. Let's go check. I'm so confused. Tuna, Tuna's going to be a household favorite now for sure. I think I think he'll be he'll be someone that people are cheering for for weeks to come. I can actually check what his ranking is. Let's see. Because uh, he should he should be in the recently played, recently played, the Tuna. Let's see, guys. Here he is. Silver one. Oh, and he's played a lot of games too. He's legit silver one. Oh my god, the Lord of Bronzodia actually won! To be honest though, he played better than Silver 1. I don't know. No, but he's got a lot of masteries and games on this account. Is it really? No, dude, it's... Unless it's like... Let's see. He's... Okay. Okay, never mind. I think it's a Smurf. Yeah, it, it's probably like Zlami on a Smurf. Just like salty about being teamed up on. <laughs> so he just... I don't know, man. Let's see. So... He's got, he's got a five games played with a 20% win rate in silver. Maybe he, he might have just, uh, I don't know, man. He might have just tanked this on purpose to smurf everyone. But he does have a lot of games played. Hold on. Looks like the, the am, I, am I friends with the tuna? Let's see here. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I have no idea. It could be a Smurf. It could be a Smurf or it could, could be a true Lord of Bronzodia. I don't think it's Lamy, though. I checked the Steam profile. It doesn't appear to be him. <laughs> yeah. But here's the thing. Like, he was getting pounded by Uravity pretty hard early on. Right? Uravity was giving him the dirty. So, like, that wouldn't have happened to Zlami, probably. If we're talking, like, an actual Smurf. And a 10 says, I played two hours to die like that. Bro, you you guys you guys waited too long. Your blood feud went too long. That was crazy, man. Oh my god. What a match, dude. What a match. Crazy games, dude. Crazy games. That was really fun. <laughs> He's a man of mystery. Yeah. Wow. GG well played, guys. That was really fun. Yeah, Tuna back during Nelosi was pretty wild. Nelosi, Nelosi was like the only one trying to shut down that wonder for a long time. The other two players were fighting to the death. Like literally for like 10 minutes while the wonder was there. They should have, if they had all just gone in, it wouldn't have been too bad. <laughs> the mystery Tuna. There has to be, all right guys, between now and the next tournament, we have to generate conspiracy theories about the Tuna being like pro players in disguise. All right, GG, well played. Hopefully you guys had fun. Congratulations to the tuna. That was really fun. We'll see you guys on the other side. Take care of yourselves. That's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. GG, well played. And congrats to our winner. He certainly earned it. Some of the most entertaining play we've had in a while. And big thanks to Gunhound for hosting all these. If you guys enjoyed this, please do drop a like on the way out. Thank you to our new channel member and for the donations as well. Thank you, guys. Keeps us going. Take care, guys. That's it. Adios. Dovitenya. See you on the other side. Dovitenya. And uh, all that sort of good stuff. GG, well played.